Welcome to the Halloween Am Stream tonight. It's our yearly Halloween Am Stream. And I've been turned into a bloody pumpkin tonight because, yes, boys and girls, I'm finally going to do it. So I'm going to finally tackle my demon tonight, slay my demon. We're going to go and do Cauldron Bloody tonight. <laughs> I'm going to get it over and done with. We're going to go and try and beat Cauldron 2. And a decapitated head or a bouncing bloody pumpkin. Mad Shovel, this one's for you. And Dave Velociraptor, if he's here tonight. Oh, Velo, Velo you're here tonight. Yes, I'm a pumpkin. Welcome to the Velo stream and the Man Shovel stream. Yes. Yes. There you go. There you go. Cauldron Bloody 2. We should do Cauldron 2 a little bit later. Because tonight is also about Amstrad Horror Games as well. How you doing, Velo? How you doing, Man Shovel? This is for you. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, we've got, we've got a dono coming as well. Um, when the lightning gets a little bit too much, I will turn off the, um, the, the thunder and lightning as well. And uh, and the green smoke, we should we should turn down, we should tone down the green smoke a little bit as well. Hang on, hang on, I shall replay that dono as well. Hang on, one second, I had them muted for the start of the stream. Hang on, I re I will replay that. Whoa, hang on, hang on. Game sack Joe <laughs> has donated three pounds. I think that's GP, Pat McNoles. I just did a video on top 10 scariest 16-bit games. I love you. Thank you, GameSack Joe. Um, exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat and bananas. Thank you. Thank you, GameSack Joe, for the free pounds. <laughs> 
Thank you. That's Pat McNulls, GP. Thank you, GP. Thank you very, very, very much for that. <laughs> Thank you, GP. Thank you very, very, very much for the three pounds. Posing as GameSack Joe. <laughs> Thank you, Naughty GP. Thank you very, very much. So tonight, boys and girls, it's all about Amstrad Horror Games. Um, so we'll be taking your requests in the chat for some Amstrad Horror Games. We'll do some. Uh, we'll start with a, a good banger of a horror game tonight, and um, a couple of big ones. Also, looking forward to see some more obscure Amstrad horror themed games. See what you boys and girls can come up with, and we'll do Cauldron. We'll do Cauldron too. Uh, I don't know. Hot, uh, midway through the stream. Uh, we'll take a break halfway through Cauldron 2 because the latter half of Cauldron 2 getting up, up on the top of the tower is going to take some time and we'll finish it off at the end of the stream. Gollima! Gollima! Thank you for the one pound! <laughs> I bet Zypho is wearing that green kickoff t-shirt. Damn it, you're revealing the trick to the trade. That's man shovel. It is man shovel. Man shovel. Thank you. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for man shovel. <laughs> man shovel. You're revealing the tricks of the trade. Stop it. Stop it. You did have extra uses, man shovel. Thank you, man shovel. Creepy, creepy disembodied arms as well. Ooh. <laughs> thank you, Man Shovel. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Man Shovel. So, um, put some su put some suggestions in the chat for Amstrad horror games as well. Yes, yes. We should do some Amstrad horror games. Uh, let's do the greetings in the chat as well. Let's see. Who have we got in the chat so far tonight? I should do very quick. Um, welcome to everyone. Let's have a look. Uh, Jolly is first in the chat tonight. Hello, Jolly. Greetings, Jolly. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. I should keep my hands and arms down because it, reveal, it ruins the illusion of my decapitated pumpkin head. And um, Pete Walker. Hello, Mr. Pete Walker. Another legend. I'll put the ghost business a little bit. Welcome, Pete Walker. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. The legend, Vimster. Hello, Vimmy. How are you doing, sir? If you want me to turn off the lightning, if it's bothering anyone, let me know. I'll turn it off in a minute, actually. Um, we'll keep it on just for the intro. Um, how you doing, Vimmy? Mr. David Watkins, good evening, David. How you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Um, we've got Wars of the Board Time Lord arriving in his TARDIS. What a Doctor Who episode. Oh, my God. i tell you what. Ace and, and McCoy, the seventh Doctor, that scene, it made me cry a little bit. That was really good. Uh, a really, really good episode of Doctor Who. I, I, I presume you watched it. Retro or Busts. How you doing, Retro or Busts? Rob DeLorean. How you doing, mates? Welcome, welcome. Mad Shovel. I hope you like the intro. Bloody, yes, there you go. You got the bouncing pumpkin's eye tonight. Man Shovel, that was for you, my friend. And Velo. Um, how you doing, Smooth MJ? Moonwalking into the stream. How you doing, Smoothie? Welcome, welcome, my friend. How's it going, Smoothie? Uh, we've got a Robert Berry. How you doing, Rob? How you the health tricks, my friend? But the men are men and so are the women. Nothing wrong in that at all. Just had some fun. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, Commander Sabotage? Welcome, welcome. I'm a scythe. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you, sir. Velo, this one's for you as well, my friend. Another cauldron too obsessive here tonight. Good to see you as always, mate. Good to see you back. Oh, so good. How you doing, sir? Welcome. We've got a sneaky mod here as well. Thank you, you too. And thank you for your support in the AM squad as always, uh, guys. Um, German78 mushing into the stream. Hello, um, German. Oh, I've got, oh, I've got to keep my um, hands and arms down tonight. Ruins the illusion. How you doing, dude, German? Oh! The witch! The witch has donated one pound. This witch. <laughs> the arms witch. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat. Where once the tiny cottage stood a mighty palace dwarfs the wood, and there within the highest tower the witch queen wields her mighty power, 
a rule of evil cross the land with ghosts and gargoyles close at hand. <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much. Who was that? Let's have a look on my phone here. Um, oh, which queen's way into my room? Oh, is that the quote from um, Cauldron 2? Oh, amazing. Thank you. That was... That was Velo. Velo, you naughty dinosaur. Thank you, Velo, for the one pound. And was that a Cauldron 2 quote? I think it was, wasn't it? I believe it was. Thank you, Velo. Thank you, you naughty dinosaur. Thank you, mate. How's the 664 treating you, Velo? Um, thank you for the pumpkins in the chat there. Um, let's see. Do we reckon Zyro will succeed in Cold and Trip? I tried Bunny Magic to collect three items before getting my pumpkin ass handed to me. Retro or bus? I make no illusion about it. The um, snapshots will be abused as hell tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, no, I'm no shame. The snapshots will be abused and Win 8 will melt. <laughs> right, uh, Paul Henderson, Fenrir. Good evening, Fenrir. How you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. How's it going, sir? AD Sneaker Freak sneaking into the stream as well. How you doing, AD? Well done on the hidden gems last week, sir. <laughs> welcome. We'll put Ghost of Goblins back on quickly. Uh, Robin Hood, the Retro Games with. Looking forward to a happy Halloween. Me too, my friend. Hope you have a good one as well, sir. Welcome, welcome. Um, Magic Knight, good evening Magic Knight, how you doing sir? Lady Andrea Wyatt as well, how are you doing Andy? Welcome, welcome as well. How's it going? We've got a Sneaky Maud in the stream as well, hello Sneaky Maud. We've got 80s Retro Gamer here as well, good evening 80s Retro Gamer. Shawnee the Great Gamer, welcome Shawnee, good to see you again as well, welcome. Oh! We got the Ams Witches back. The Ams Witches donated one pound. <laughs> Her enemies destroyed this night, yet one remains to set things right. A pumpkin warrior, brave and good. <laughs> the last survivor from the wood. So go now, quickly climb the stair and cut a lock of witch's hair. Oh, oh, that's the last bit of the Cauldron 2 thing, wasn't it? Velo, that's you, isn't it, Velo? Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for Vel Velo a Velociraptor, the naughty dinosaur there. Thank you, Velo, for the last bit of the Cauldron 2 story. <laughs> Thank you, Velo. Thank you very, very, very much. The witches are waiting in Cauldron 2. Thank you, Velo. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. For another pen. <laughs> Setting me up for um, Cauldron 2 there. Shawnee the Great Gamer. Welcome, Shawnee. Good to see you back on the Am stream, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Oh. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. There's more from the witch. Oh, my goodness. The 464 there. Wow. Seek out then the cauldron black and brew a spell to change things back. <gasps> then the hack will know defeat and thy revenge will be complete. Happy Halloween and stream. Whoa! Velo! Bloody hell, mate. Thank you very, very, very much. The one pound, the one pound, then the four, six, four. Bloody hell. More pumpkins in the chat there. <sighs> Holy crap, Velo. Uh, it says sore fingers from typing all that now. That is the full um that is the full manual. That's all you get in the manual, by the way, for, for Cauldron 2. And the full story from Cauldron 2 in Donos. Holy crap. Thank you very, 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 very much, uh Velo. <laughs> but we have lots of extra pumpkins in the chat. Exclamation mark pumpkins for Matt, uh, for Velo there. And that is the, that's the Am's Witch there, waiting at the top of the tower in Cauldron 2 for later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rintendo! <laughs> now Rintendo as well. <laughs> There's Boo! <laughs> Rintendo! Oh, hang on. Oh, God. 
RMC? <laughs> Retro Man Cave? I'm starting to get jealous. RMC is getting jealous, fellow. <laughs> Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for um, Neil from Metro Man Cave. <laughs> Sorry, RMC. Uh, that was actually Pat McNose. Thank you, Pat McNose. <laughs> Posing as Neil there. Neil won't get jealous, don't you worry. Neil's a good dude. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Velo. Rintendo. Thank you, Rintendo. He says, boo. <laughs> and uh, Pat McNoll's there, GP. Thank you very, very, very much. Cheers. Um, Jimin asks the, about the green fog. Who farted? Mrs. Zypho. She's um, very flattered into the ways. Uh, thank you, fellow <laughs> Nintendo and GP. Anyway, quickly on the greetings, and we'll get to our first game tonight. Shawnee the Great Gamer, welcome back, Shawnee. Good to see you again, my friend. Um, I'm going to speed up the greetings here. We need to get to games. Um, let's see, who else do we have arriving? Um, thank you, um, Amasai, and everyone else saying the cool intro. Thank you, guys. Um, let's see. Uh, scrolling through. Nish, CPC Game Reviews. Hello, Nish. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome. Alan Sugas, Bonnet Noches, Un Salador. Greetings, Alan Sugas. Good to see you again tonight, my friend. How are you keeping? Welcome, welcome. Hola, hola. Um, oh, my chat just re-scrolled itself. Ah, where was I? Okay, I found where I was. Okay. Um, okay. Right, who else have we got to welcome here quickly? And then we'll get to game requests. Some of you, um, right, do we want to turn off the lightning? I think we ought to probably turn off the lightning now. Okay, we're going to turn off the lightning. That's a bit probably getting a bit too much now. Um, Smoothie says, yes, I watched the Doctor episode and it made me upset too. Running nose and everything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Claude Rains. Hello, Claude Rains. Darren, how you doing, my friend? Welcome. Right. Okay. Uh, welcome, Darren. How's tricks, my friend? How's tricks? Um, the Am switches. We've got Andy... Andrea Wyatt for that. Oh, Pete, you're going to get in trouble for that. Gavin Ward. Hello, Gavin. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, I've had a good week this week so, uh, so far, Gavin. How's your week been? Welcome, my friend. <laughs> Andrea says Pete's in trouble for that. Okay. Right. Okay. Anyone else arriving? Retro on limb. Steve, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How's it? How's it? How are you doing, mate? Are you on an... Um, Night shifts tonight. Is it Jimmy's? Oh, I'm not at all. Savile's birthday. I'm not doing bloody super trolley, Steve. That is not happening. Hey. I know it's scary. Uh, yeah, it's scary games night, but it's not that bloody scary. Yeah, I'm going to be watching OSG's video tomorrow. I was hoping to watch it before to start in the stream tonight, but he posted it way too late. Nova Bugs Mask Party. Oh, God. Bloody hell. Right, okay. Right, game requests then. Oh, sorry. Oh, we're, the music's looped. Okay, so. Let's, uh, I'll put some different music on then. Let's have this on. Right, so game requests, boys and girls. What's our first game request of the night for our Amstrad Horror Games? So, what would you like to start with? Cauldron 2. We're going to do Cauldron 2 a little bit a little bit later on. Not too late. Not too late. We're gonna, we'll just have a few game requests to start the stream off. Because Cauldron 2 is going to be painful. It's going to be painful. I need to ease myself gently in to the pumpkin before I start before I start bouncing. Before I, before I do the bouncing. Invasion of the Zombie Monsters. That's a good one. Yes, that's a good one. Before I turn myself into the pumpkin, we, we're going to have some other games to start with first. Nemesis the Warlock. That could be interesting. Is it halloween -y enough? Maybe. 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 Uh, invasion of the zombie monsters. I like that though. Chiller. So that could be a banger. Adam's family. 
Mad Doctor. Is that an Amstrad game? I've never heard of that. Friday the 13th. I haven't played that all year, so maybe. Ghosts and Goblins remake. The new one isn't out. Oh, we've got the old GX4000 re uh, one. We could play the original one as well. Uh, farting up a storm there. It's Mrs. Zyphi upstairs. It's just drifting down the stairs. <laughs> uh, we got there. Mad Doctor. I'm going to have to look there. The Monsters. Oh, that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one, Retron Lim. Nightbreed. <laughs> Speedrun. Oh. No, I mean not a speedrun. I can't remember. Uh, might, I may not be able to remember it. Elvira. I don't think that came to the Amstrad. Uh, terrible coughing. Hello, terrible coughing. Curse of Sherwood. Is that halloween -y enough? Maybe. Oh! Ewok Dogger. Has mm. donated one pound. What? What kind of miserable, neglectful rim liquor of a wok doesn't even welcome his own missus? I didn't even see you in the chat. Uh, bloody hell. I didn't even see you in the chat. Hello, beautiful. I've only forgotten someone. Hello. I'm just getting to you. I'm looking at the request. Hello, babe. Mrs. Zypho is in the chat. Hello, babe. I'm sorry if I missed anyone there. You farted on my head. I farted under your head. You were laying on me. And I farted under you, not on you. There's a there's a there's a distinct difference, Mrs. Zypho. Hello, beautiful. And we've got to give Mrs. Zypho some love in the chat because technically she got a tattoo of me on her thigh. Uh, oh yeah, exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for the dono. She, she, uh, if you saw, if you didn't see last night's um stream. Mrs. Zypho technically got a, a tattoo of me on her thigh. But it's a Zypho's Nightmare tattoo. Um, I don't know if she could post another picture of it in the in the Discord because there's been so much talk in the Discord. I can't scroll far enough up to go and find it now. But she got a Zypho's Nightmare tattoo of the front cover on her thigh yesterday. And she left me in shock when she appeared on stream and showed it to everyone. I was dumbfounded, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm absolutely gobsmacked and absolutely honoured. Someone's got a tattoo of my face on them, on their body. Bloody hell! Um, can you bound to the croc and kiss him? Says GP. All right, GP, just for you. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on. What's going on? Northeast Gas Association has donated one. <laughs> Zypho gas rises as it is lighter. <laughs> Zypho gas rises as it is lighter than air. I never said it was gas. Someone else said this was gas. This is green, green, green fog. From a producer, of Mrs. Zypho's bottom. Uh, someone else said that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that, that man shovel. Thank you, man shovel. Oh, Mrs. Zypho has posted a pic in the Discord. I'll, I'll show it. Hang on then. Hang on. I need to. My 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 stream deck is broken for tonight because of all the city effects. Hang on. One sec. There you go. <laughs> That's Mrs. Zypho's tattoo. She has uh, she has tattooed on her thigh. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I'm I'm honoured. I I I am honoured. Someone has tattooed basically my face on their on her on on, on, on their body. So, wow, I am party walk on the bloody thing. But like, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's the Zyphos Nightwear cover, obviously. There you go, the box cover and the loading screen. That Gemma, the girl of rage, very skillfully drew. Amazing, amazing. Thank you, Man Shovel, as well, there for the one pound. 
Right, where was I? Uh, oh, yes, requests. Requests. Okay. Uh, can I show it? Uh, Goods of Ghost needs an Amstrad port. Oh, good call, Gavin. Yes, yes. Killer Gorilla. Werewolves of London. We did that last year as the featured game. We did that live long play last year. Werewolves of London, maybe. Yeah. Might not do bloody mind. Ghouls. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Bubble Ghost. Good call, GP. Good call. Super grand. I'm done with that one. Um. Uh, all right, that's it. Uh, no, uh, don't post any more because I won't get through all of these. Frankenstein Jr. Possibly, yeah. Sultan's Maze. That's scary. Based solely on how long it takes you to load and how long it takes you to press the off switch. Is that a is that a, is that a serious request, Smoothie, or just a joke post? <laughs> I'm writing it down. Nosfer Nosferatu. Okay, don't do too many retro and limb. Alex, look. How you doing, Alex? Count Ducky the Ghost Hunters. Amazing. All right. Retro and Don't paste too many. Don't paste too many. Dr. Scrying Spook School. Oh, God. We've never worked that one out. No one has, Paul Hayward. We can have a look at it. There was a, there's a thread on CPC Wiki that where someone's trying to work it out. And I think they've only got to, like, level three. Marty Vegas, Friday the 13th. Yes, we can do that. Yes, I think someone else has uh, put that in. Uh, before you deny it all, you did accuse me of farting. Yes, I did. It's usually you, your own missus. <laughs> Please do a play of zombie. Terrible coffin. Um, Halloween am screen 2020 or 2019. Zombie, we did a full long play of Zombie uh, on the Halloween Am screen that year, actually. That was the featured game. Maybe. It is quite slow paced. We'll see. We'll see in that one. Frankenstein. I think I've got that down. All right. Oh, no, I didn't. Frankenstein. Okay, down on the list. Yellow Belly. Sir Yellow Belly is in the chat. How you doing, mate? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Ah. Uh, Hey, he's off to your night shift. Hey, no worries, Yellow Belly. Maybe we'll catch you in a bit, mate. We'll maybe catch you in a bit. Take care. Take care. Right, I think I've got enough requests there. I think we've got enough requests. Right. Hey, it's much more. How you doing? It's much more. Oh, God, not a nightmare. We've had it featured twice recently, so we may not get to that one, but we'll see. So, yeah. All right. We've had Ghosts of Goblins requested a couple of there. So maybe we'll have a quick Ghosts of Goblins just to start the stream off. Oh, oh no. Mid Apes crashed. <laughs> As it always does. I don't know why it does that at the start of the stream. And then it's fine from then on. And maybe we could find the um, Jigs 4000 remake quickly. It's always a good one just to start the stream off. How you doing? It's much more. As a reminder, everyone, don't forget the uh, National uh, Nottingham Video Game Expo on the 17th and 18th of December in Nottingham, of course. Myself will be there. I won't be a decapitated pumpkin head. <laughs> um, make sure you get to that awesome video game um, a convention in, Not in Nottingham. 17th, 18th of December. It's an, it'll be a fantastic weekend. Be a lovely Christmas Christmas present for yourself. We'll have a look at the GX4000 one if I can find the ROM. We'll have just a quick play of this one. Because it has awesome tunes as well. Right, let's pause my music here. There we go. What a soundtrack. What a soundtrack. Alright, off the jump, isn't it? Oh, hang on. I keep pressing the second fire button to jump, and of course, if that don't work. How you doing, see Yellow Benny, anyway? Every Whisper, welcome to the stream. Right. Oh. If you see the hitbox there, there's a nice rectangle around the sprites as it's a... Uh, Moving, moving out the ground there. Little trick there, you can just get up the ladder there without it scrolling. Sounds superb. Oh, also, it's a little bit loud. Hang on. Can I just quickly... 
Oh no, I'm gonna get wrecked. I'm just trying to turn down the volume in the uh, OBS. Ah, oh, I lost the life. Never mind. It was a little bit loud. Can you hear me talk over the um, game volume now, guys? Guys, is this the best soundtrack song on a CPC game ever? Honestly, this is in my top three soundtracks on a CPC game. It is a belter, isn't it? You watch this with the big telly in the front room. Is the sound up at the moment? What is he saying, says Jolly? Oh, is, this, is the sound mix still bad? Is the game volume still too high? Sid Sheep. Sid Sheep, eat your heart out, I'd say. That bass slide is awesome. Turn music up. Turn me up your end. Retro on limb. Ooh, I'm worried we won't get to Cauldron 2 now. Oh, don't worry. It's going to happen. No, no, don't worry. I know we got an uh, absolute crap ton of requests. Don't worry, they'll be spread out. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was close. That was close. That was really close. I was hoping the new 6128 Plus remake of Ghosts and Goblins would have been out in time for Halloween. Sadly not. That is looking absolutely freaking awesome. Oh, would you guys, boys and girls, like to see the 6128 Plus um, demo? There's a one. Uh, there's a one-level demo I've got of the 6128 Plus version of this. Would you like to see the first level of it? Most of you have seen it. But um, would you like to see that first level? Or would you like to see the, the, the um, uh, Jigs 4000, oh no, um, version of the game that came out in 2018? The Sausage Monks, yes! The Sausage Monks got... The Sausage Monks got me there. And, uh, and stupidity got me there. Did Zombie get a shout? The game's, the zombie game from Ubisoft, yes? No! I'm an idiot. Not seen it, so go for it. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. All right, last life, so. I don't mind this uh, slide scroll on Ghosts and Goblins. I think this is all right. Better than flick screen. And even though he doesn't properly fully scroll, I think this is an acceptable in-between. Oh, the red arrow got me there. So, wrecked. So, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, okay then. All right, boys and girls, okay. Let's, let me just find, first of all, we need to switch to uh, 6128 plus mode. Um, all right, let's turn on. Hang on, where's my... All right. Put on the 6128 there. Oh, no, 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 we don't want... Burning rubber. Okay. Uh... Right, I need to find it. That's the only problem. Uh... Oh, I know where it is. I know where the, my disc is for this. I think. Crap. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh.
Where are we? Oh, I've lost the file is. Hang on, hang on. Oh, I've lost where the file is. Damn it. I've lost the file. Bear with me. Damn it, I've lost the file. Okay, I've got an older version of it. I've got an older version of it. So I think we're okay. Uh, I'll use this one. Okay, okay, I'm, a, I'm good, I'm good. gone for this. What? Okay, bear with me. I've got another way of finding this. Sorry, guys. Give me... Give me 30 seconds. Sorry, sorry. I don't know where my file has gone for this. I'm, a call I'm being called a donkey. Just talk amongst yourselves just for a sec. Oh, it's a CPR file. That's why. Oh. 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 Right. Okay. 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 I found it. I think I found it. Uh. Alright, it's in uh, runs of games. Alright, okay, I know where it is. I know where it is. Sorry about this, boys and girls. I am so sorry. Right, okay. Hate when this happens. CPC runs of games. GNG. Found it! Found it! I'm so sorry, guys. That took ages to find. Ha! Oh. Bloody hell. So sorry. I was getting really stressed there. Nice weather today. Oh! oh. Right. Chewing the cud, yeah. Is it not CPC pat? No, it was shared privately by the coder with me. Right. Oh, I was trying to go as quick as I can there, so I had to ignore everyone and just, like, crack on. Oh, right, okay. Barry Roadrunner, Malamut, how you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, Al K, my fellow Al, welcome in, Al. <laughs> yes, I'm a, I'm a detached pumpkin head tonight, Al K. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, that's a bad moment for a streamer. Oh, here it is, here it is. Some of you have seen this already. Um, this is given to me very, very kindly by the coder of the game. He's very, very far into development, but he still reckons he might have. When I last spoke to him was, ooh, when did I do my um, new Amstrad games look, uh, look to look out for a video? Uh, that was a few months ago, uh, three, four months ago. He's got about an, a year left on on it on this, maybe a tiny bit longer. So I'd say just less than a year to go on this one. OD, the real OD. How you doing, OD? Welcome in, welcome in. And we got a Zidulan in the chat as well. Hello, Zidulan. Welcome, my friend. Look how awesome this looks already, guys. There you go. Not even a Mega 65 can do this. <laughs> So this is not publicly available. No. Oh, I'll just show you. There are secrets in this game. Watch. This is in the arcade version. Hey! Yes. 
So, like, like, just like the arcade version, if you hit the gravestone at the start enough times, the wizard appears and turns you into a frog. So this this aims to be as arcade perfect as possible. Oh, axe. Oh, we don't want the axe. The axe sucks, in my opinion. Actually, the axe is alright. What you want is the dagger. Let me just... I'm going to put the volume up a little bit because... I've turned it down for Ghosts and Goblins. Um, does that sound a bit better, volume-wise? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yes, we've got the dagger! That's the best weapon. <gasps> there you go. That is, this is freaking amazing. Ideally, we want one of these zombies spawn with a pot and then with an armor refill. Not gonna happen. There'll be one after the red arama, hopefully. If we can kill him. Be any second. It's almost arcade perfect. It, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, I hate that red arama. It's called the red arama, right? Arama or whatever. Spooky Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a detached pumpkin head for the Cauldron 2 playthrough tonight, Zidulan. My most hated game and feared game. I'm going to tackle it tonight. If you've never seen um, Cauldron 2 before, Zidulan, you'll see why I hate it. <laughs> Technically, it's actually a really good game, but the... Oh, God. It's a... It's painful to play. But yeah, almost arcade perfect. What do you reckon, boys and girls? Is this going to be the best ever conversion of Ghosts and Goblins? Oh, God. Oh, did I lose? Oh, no, I, lost, I lost the dagger weapon when I died. I think that's a bug. They'll fix that. Normally, when you die, you keep the weapon you died with, I think, in the arcade. Oh, that was good hit detection there. Ooh, just... Oh, did I pick up the spear by accident? I don't know. Got him! Jump about here somewhere. You can get an armor spawn. That is in this game. Right, okay. It's a fan version. Yeah, unofficial. Uh... Oh, what? That normally comes all the way across. Yes, yeah, this is an unofficial remake. Yes, yeah. Honestly, this is one of the most atmospheric games as you can see. The cover art, the poem, the sound, the graphics. The whole feel of it is wonderful. Just a shame about the, um, the game mechanics and the controls. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I can't disagree with you there, fellow. 100% agree. With every statement there, you just missed out one important other statement. <laughs> Ooh, you fired twice. Turn into a frog. I did! Did you miss it? Okay, let's see if I can get to the boss at the end. No! We don't... No! I've got the flame weapon! It's like the worst weapon to get. Oh, arse oh, biscuit. Although, it does take out the red armor really quickly. Dagger! Alright, poggers. We're back in it. We're back in it. Tits! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this is for um, the 6128 Plus machines. So this won't work on a... Oh, we keep the dagger. I must have picked up the um, spear by mistake when I died last time. All right, dreaded sausage monk's time. coming in and there we go we did the first level there we go ggs is that osg thank you for playing that was the only the first level the full game is coming soon stay tuned arthur sausages monkus there you go that is the first there you go the first level demo of the new um, ghost of goblins game coming for the amstrad 6128 plus computer there you go <laughs> OSGGG, yeah. We killed the Unicron. <laughs> Stay tuned, Arthur. Isn't that awesome, boys and girls? This version makes any other on the CPC look scabby. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. True, it's gonna, only going to work on the Amstrad 6128 Plus computer, but, like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Awesome stuff. All right, we're going to come off that. Right, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. Right. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. What do we think? Yeah. Any other comments on that one? It will need 128k, Velo. So unless you've modded your GX4000 to have 128k of RAM, um, it won't. <laughs> there is that, that. There are those mods out there, isn't there? And I suppose the 464 Plus modded to have 128k of RAM. There you go. Yeah, it needs 128k of RAM. So, there we go. Um, right, let's have a look. What other requests do we have then? So, we've done Ghost of Goblins there. Invasion of the Zombie Monsters. That's a good one. Yes. Yes. Good, good request, that one. Um, well, actually, before I do, let me just check my joystick's working because... Yeah, it is. Because we'll need it for this one. Invasion of the Zombie Monsters. Good request, this one. Yes. Was my music here? I think I think we did play this one fairly recently on the stream, but I, I really enjoyed this one. Bimster is right. Your green smoke is leaving a band across the screen. Is it? Oh, thank you for putting that out. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Thank you. I never noticed that. Ah, oh, biscuits. I will sort that. I never noticed that. Holy crap. Alright, let me sort that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Vimster. better I think that's better I think that's better 
Is it gone, the band? Um, Vimster, Mrs. Zypho. Jesus, I didn't know that was there. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. God, that really annoys me when that... Oh, Jesus. Oh, well. Oh, hello, OSG. How you doing, Star Gaming? The band has been banned. Uh, been playing Star Wars Squadrons, I think. Probably like it's free on the Game Pass. Is it? Oh. Ow. Oh. Um, unfortunately, I don't have Game Pass, so uh, uh, rip me. Old Star Gaming has put live his big new Amstrad video. And I've been waiting all morning and, and uh, most of the lunchtime to watch it, staying up as late as I could before I went to bed. And he didn't, and um, I couldn't wait any longer and I had to go to bed in the end. <laughs> and, and he eventually put it live just as I fell asleep. And I was like, God damn it, I woke up and it had already, um, <laughs> and I missed it. But OSG, I can't wait to watch it, mate. Can't wait to watch it. So everyone else, make sure you do. Hang on my green screens coming through oops make sure you do boys and girls rsg has been working bloody hard on his amstrad video which you guys and girls had input in i should see a bit of my green screen but, right uh so yes because if you remember we did a whole am stream where um you guys helped rank uh homebrew games do you remember that stream and I got loads of like, thumbs down and down votes because people got really salty about um, <laughs> their homebrew games not getting in the right positions and stuff. And I will never, ever rank and rate ho uh, homebrew games ever again. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, you guys helped make that video. So, in a way... Man, you can see bits of me now. Damn it, damn it, it's giving away the illusion because I had to adjust the, the thing. Oh, wait, never mind. Um, <laughs> right. Welcome in, uh, OSG. All right, let's play with this then. We'll sort that out later. Invasion of the Zombie Monsters. Ten, Am ten Amstrad games after the Amstrad, yeah. How's the video going down, OSG? People liking it. This is another awesome homebrew game. Did this get in the video? Oh, I've got to remember the traffic light thing. You can pick up colours and stuff. Oh, yeah. Hang on, what's good in this? Is it green? I can't remember. Yeah, green's good. Green is good. What an awesome game this is. Green's good. God. It comes after light blue. Purple. Green. Oh, that nearly got wrecked. That nearly wrecked me. Uh, this is another homebrew release from oh, right, 2013. This is awesome game. Ah, ah! Oh my god. Okay. And I got wrecked there. Okay. be a little bit laggy on the uh, uh, on the controls a little bit at times but nice look at that bit is that a bit of parallax scrolling on the go oh i deserve to die there i suck there um <laughs> smoothie tolerated it and left a like <laughs> Uh, I think Scramble is really impressive. Oh, I don't know. If, did Scramble make the cut? No, we'll have to see. Am I, 
Oh man. My green screen still working. My yeah. Just about, just about. Anyway, um, what's the name of the game? Hey, Sir T Nick of Tech. This is Invasion of the Zombie Monsters. Sir Nick of Tech, how you doing, mate? Um, right, I'll concentrate more on this one. FC Dunhog is posting his fancy pictures in Den Haag in Discord. Sorry, two blondes on each arm. What's he? What's FC Den Haag doing? Is he at? Is it? Is, is he at some Halloween ball? Is he? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, I sort of see his green body paint. I don't. I don't know if the green smoke fog is like ruining the illusion now. Maybe I can move the fog down a bit. Maybe it looks better like that now. I don't know. It's sort of glitching me a little bit. And my uh, floating pumpkin head aesthetic. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, okay, we'll leave it. We'll leave it there. Right, anyway, who gives a crap? Who gives a crap? Um, Nice graphics of Paradox scrolling. Yes, yes. That Orion Prime is something special. See, I told you, OSG. How far did you actually play it for a few hours or get into it or at all? It's freaking good, isn't it? And OSG did the full 20 games in his video. Right, okay. Right, remember, you need to pick up this when it's green. Oh, nearly, nearly picked it up too early there. And you get a weapon power up. There you go. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! All the dancing sugars! Holy crap! I'm gonna bring on. And you can have the rain and lightning back. Holy crap! Manuel Schultz! I'm going, I'm going into Cauldron 2 Bouncing Pumpkin mode. Manuel! Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat. Manuel! Holy crap, dude. You've turned me into a bouncing pumpkin. Manuel! <laughs> Thank you very, 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 very much, dude. Thank you very, very, very much, Manuel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me just turn down the green fog a bit. <laughs> right, Manuel. Holy crap, dude. Manuel, thank, thank you. Wow, thank you very, very, very much, Manuel. Thank you, and, and hello, Annette, as well. Holy crap, Manuel. Thank you so, so much. That's really kind and generous of you there, Manuel. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Manuel, thank you very, 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 very much there, mate. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, Manuel. Lots of love to the Schultzes in glorious Switzerland there. How you doing, Manuel? <laughs> thank you, my friend. Thank you. Um, I remember last year, you're all my, you don't know, last year, of course, on the Halloween Am Scream last year. Thank you, Manuel. How are you doing? Well, thank you. Manuel, let me know if there's anything I can do for you, mate. Thank you very, very, very much for the £25. Holy... Thank you. And happy Halloween. 
Oh, I picked up the wrong one there. Oops. I'm over fluster now. Thank you, Manuel. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? How are you doing? Wow. Wow. Yeah, I should stop saying holy crap. You have been incredibly generous, Manuel. How... <laughs> You always leave me lost for words. <laughs> Where I died last time. Okay, we're doing a bit better this time. Okay. Thank you for all the pumpkins there from on. Damn it! Game always catches me out. Manuel, but manual. Can you take off your cap, please? No. <laughs> Thank you, manual. Manual. Hang on. Uh, exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat there. I think that was GP. Oh, hang on. I've got a timer on the level. Hang on. Let me type pumpkins in the chat. Uh, exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat there as well. For Mr. Pat Mc... It's Pat McNoles again. Thank you, Pat McNoles. <laughs> Post your picture first. And then I will. <laughs> oh, there was a hidden power-up in the tree. Oh. Oh, I didn't know there might be hidden power-ups. Oh, my goodness. Oh my freaking god! Pete! Can't let Manuel have all the glory, can we? Oh Smile. my god! Pete, are you serious? Oh my god, you're gonna have to turn me exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat. Pete, you've turned me into a pumpkin again. Oh, oh I'm space on my test. Pete Walker! What are you doing? Pete! Oh, Pete, you silly sausage. Bloody hell, Pete. <laughs> Wrong. Bloody hell, mate. Holy crap. Holy crap. Pete Walker. Pete, you really didn't have to do that, mate. Holy crap, mate. Seriously. Pete. Pete. Hey, thank you so much, mate. Thank you very, very, very much. Wow. Um. Bloody hell. That yeah, as Manuel says there, that's incredible. You are incredible, Pete. Right. I don't have a picture of Manuel to share, but Pete Walker. You can have your you can have your picture on stream again. I'm gonna have to find somewhere there. You can go you can go there. There you go, Pete. You can have your picture on stream for a little bit there. With my disembodied hand. Ooh. All right, Pete Walker. You can have your picture your your love heart picture on stream for a little bit. 
Oh my goodness. Right, okay. Oh. P, are you sure, mate? Are you sure? As I always say, you're not a rich man. I know, we know, we all know that. If you change your mind in the morning, I can always hit that refund button. But thank you, Pete. Thank you very, very, very much. You've done way too much already for me with all that stuff in Play Blackpool, Pete. Pete, thank you, though, darling. I, I love you very, very much, Pete. I love you too, Manuel. You two are the, two of the most kindest, generous people I know. Thank you very, very much. I don't know what to say or do. And uh, Manuel or Pete, do you have any requests for horror games? Perhaps, but um. Oh, boss battle time here coming up. Anyway, I think we'll move on after the boss battle here. Get some a, diff a different game on. We gotta duck down here. He likes to come over and have a tickle this boss. Duck down here. Whoa. There you go. He does a little thumbs up there. Oh my goodness. And uh, Dreamy, I didn't say hello to Dreamy earlier. Sorry. Hello, Dreamy. How you doing, Dreamy? Good evening, Dreamy. How's tricks? And Benny Woo. Hello, Benny. Welcome into the AM stream. How's things? Welcome, welcome. Stop it or I'll set the Ewok tattoo on you. <laughs> no lollipops or peas. You better be able to afford those lollipops, peas. Silly sausage. Exactly, Smoothie, yes. No, there's no silly competitions or anything like that. Yes. Blue. Oh, now we've got a super weapon. I've got one life left. We'll see how far we get, and then we'll call it on this game and move on now. I like how... By, by the way, guys, you've got a second fire button... A jump. I like that. How it uses the second fire button. Oh, look at this spread shot we've got going on. Wait for that. Light blue. Green. Oh, look how powered up we are now. This game is freaking awesome. And Andy H. Good evening, Andy H. Welcome. Oh, I should have got that power up there. Oops. I don't think this main weapon can be powered up any further. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay. I'll give you a quick pumping pumpkin bounce, okay. I mean, I'm no Pete, but here you go. Okay, okay, my fella Al. Terrible coughing! I'll give everyone a I'll, I'll give everyone a pumpkin bounce from now on as well. Exclamation mark pumpkins as well in the chat for terrible coughing. There's, oh, there's no text to speech on super chats by the way as well, and also YouTube take a cut of that um, on super chats. Just warning you. But um, terrible coughing. Thank you very much for the five pounds through the super chat. Just thank you for all your hard work. Terrible coughing. Thank you very, 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 very much. Terrible coughing. I very much appreciate that. Thank you. 
Just thank you all the hard work. I appreciate that. Do you know what? This this was a lot of hard work setting all this stupid crap up. Took me blooming hours. So I thank you. I, I, I'm glad you appreciate this. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Terrible Coughing. I think I'm going to have Terrible Coughing because I can feel my throat seizing up, actually, at the moment. Thank you, Terrible Coughing. And Al K, my fellow Al, um, I, I appreciate a, a 5P. Or, or, and I appreciate anyone just showing up in the chat and being on the stream I, I i appreciate that at the very very least i appreciate anyone being here um and anyone that you know what's shot 10 pence at me is is just like mind-boggling to me so a 5p a five pound a 50 pounds is just every time I, i'm always gobsmacked and when i go to bed at night and i, I curl up with mrs iphone i'm like uh, it's happened again, babe. You know, every 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 week, every week, and I've been streaming now for what three years. I'm, I I still go to bed completely gobsmacked, I, and I don't no word of a lie. Thank you, Al K. The Walker Dead. What's <laughs> with one pound one p? Happy Halloween. Happy birthday to Jimmy Savile and Novabug, two of my favorite social media. Oh, stars. good grief. Who's that? That's got to be Retro and Lim, hasn't it? That's Retro and Lim. Thank you, Retro and Lim. Okay, thank you again for the £5 there. Thank you very, very much. And also, is a view count got stuck or something? I think the view count's got stuck again. Hang on, let me just adjust that. Um, I think we lost a few viewers during all that. Anyway, thank you very, very much, Alke and Retro Alim, I think. <laughs> and Terrible Coughing. Thank you very, 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 very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, and I missed quite a bit of chat there. Sorry about that. A big bunch of dislikes came in on the stream there during all that. I don't care. Thank you very, very much, everyone. I appreciate that. Oh, the Ams, which is back. Thank you very much. And everyone, thank you everyone for the thumbs up and the likes so far. Uh, I guess some people get a bit, like, funny about donos coming in. About four dislikes just happened in the last ten minutes, so... Whatever. Uh, people can do what they want and spend their money how they want. If you don't like it, whatever. So, and for people dropping donos, so. Uh, Pam, <laughs> Pam McNoles. Is that the real Pat McNoles? Oh, I just took like, my phone. That is the real Pat McNoles, okay, Donating from 1950, so with inflation, it's £100. <laughs> Thank you, Pat McNoles, for the um, £100. Thank you. I'm a very happy pump pumpkin. Thank you, Pat McNoles. Thank you very, very, very much. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for Pat McNoles there. Right, I shall get back to the game, so people obviously want to see gameplay footage as well. Thank you, GP. Cheeky GP there. Thank you very, very, very much, GP. I appreciate that. £100. Um, no, for no birthday song for Bug in Seville? No. Is it actually uh, Nova Bug's birthday? If Chris comes on the stream, of course I'll sing him happy birthday. Definitely. Oh, another boss. I love how the sprite goes all scared there. Oh, I thought I could... Um, he said he's here. Is he? It's Nova, it's Nova Bug in the chat. Sorry, I, I do miss a lot because, like, Dono's coming and, like, I'm about to read some messages out and then a Dono happens. 
pumpkins and bananas get spammed and all the... Oh, arse biscuits. All right, we'll leave the Invasion of the Zombie Monsters there. Um, that's a cool game. That is a cool game. Very, very good. Very, very good. Let's get some other requests. And we've got Cauldron 2 to start. Maybe I'll start Cauldron 2 about 11. I don't know. Or in 10 minutes. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we can do Cauldron 2 in parts tonight, I think. God. Right. Right. Let's have a look at my... Where's my request list gone? My mouse has got broken. All right. I'm going to Sorry. Right, Invasion of the Zombie Monsters. We had we've got, we've got some good, good, good requests tonight. Thank you, NGP, Retro and Lim, LK, and especially um, Manuel and Pete Walker. Holy crap, Pete! That's a love, Pete. If uh, if Manuel Schultz allowed me, I'll I'll get Manuel Schultz picture on the stream with some hearts. <laughs> I like to see something before I go to bed. Been up since six. Um, although I'll watch the VOD as usual tomorrow. What time are you going to bed, Bello? I'd like to get a couple more requests in if I can. Oh, yeah. Seeing as like the, there's, a, there's a Monsters movie out. Let's have a look at the Monsters game. Is the new Monsters movie from um, Rob Zombie any good? And guys and girls. Has anyone seen the new Monsters movie? Oh yeah, Gavin, I think I've got enough requests. I've got a request this this long. <laughs> Get me Yubna Burger. I would buy Mucky Wok of Cheese. Nope, says Retro and Lim. No, says movie to Monsters movie. Bet his wife is in it. His wife is in everything. Oh. Music. Oh. The music actually sounds quite good. Better than Clark's 3. Oh, uh, me and Mrs. Iver watched Clark's 3 um, last Saturday. Um, we actually quite liked it. I thought it was quite good. Uh, boys and girls, I'm just going to grab a quick drink from the fridge. I'll be back in 20 seconds. Be right back. Quite a good rendition of the music, but Odie says that it's very bad. The game. No, Am's poop eighties retro gamer. Annette is singing along. Jeremy says the Monsters movie is okay. Better than some of Rob Zombie's recent movies. Cherry Moon is in it. She's hot, but can I act for Toffee? Well, she was good, but the start and end were horrific. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I disagree, but okay. Cool, cool, cool. In my spin, Rob Zombie's a poor filmmaker. We got lucky House of Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Rejects. Yeah, I 
think maybe he had a lot of help on that. I think he had a really good editor, probably. Editing can fix a lot of problems on movies. Uh, Mrs. Saga says, Clark's three was amazing, but it traumatised me at the end. I know. Let's not reveal any spoilers for a lot of people. Just in case people haven't seen it, but yes. Barbarian isn't a great horror film. Got great ratings, but I thought it was crap. Barbarian? You mean what? Conan the Barbarian? Right, let's give this a go. Oh. Oh, you can't jump, can ya? Oh, what the frick are you meant to do in this? Oh, those zombies, like, um, kill you instantly. Build up the bottles. Alright, we got a key. <laughs> Can't kill that. Ah! Collected a cross. Yeah, what's that? Doing all right there, babe. No, there's a new movie about an Air and, uh, uh, Airbnb house. Look it up. Oh, okay. Well, it's Terrifier 2. That's a new. That's a horror film. Uh, oh, we haven't seen Terrifier 1. Is Terrifier 1 worth watching? Right, I'm building up my spells there. What the frick am I supposed to be doing? Well, my energy's quite low. Ah! But remember, that zombie, you can't get past him. Oh, it's just the boys bumbling about. Oh, okay, Mrs. I. We've got a key. Right, oh, okay. I can't remember what you... What the, what the hell are we supposed to do in this? So is Terrifier 1 worth watching? Looks a bit like Pajama Rana Next Gen, Manuel says. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. Possibly, Manuel? Yeah, it's got a vibe to it. Monsters. Um. Oh, yeah, there's there's a second part to this game where you're in the... You're a dri it's a side-scrolling drive em up in the monster's car. I've got the manual here. Monsters is a superb old action arc again. The Ultras help Monsters Family Rescue Marining from the evil clutches of the old Nick. Use your spells to send the ghouls and ghosts back to the world. Be careful, watch your energy level. Keep your spell power on top to protect the mystery objects and all this Take care of the ghouls. Good luck, you'll need it. 
House of Oit Tables yet? But I can't remember now. Charge up your oh, right, solution here. Can't really see it. Charge your spell by shooting ghosts upstairs. Move from room around the room. Go down the left hand stairway, keep away the goal, go right and get the key. Go upstairs and right to the other staircase, make sure your spell power is at the maximum. Go down the go and get the candle on the left, avoid the ghoul, shoot the guardian, go right into the garden, get the folding crystal, and then we'll go to get the candle. Turn around and head back to the house, shoot the ghoul, then walk towards you. Oh man. I did a full playthrough of this on a stream years ago. But Yeah. You know what? I'm not sure I could be asked with this one. There's a lot of, um, yeah. It's very pajama rama. You're right, Manuel. But yeah, I think we'll move on from that one. Let's get to let's get to a different game, and then let's get to Cauldron Two for Velo. I forgot. I missed what you said, Velo. What time are you heading to bed, Velo? Um, Mrs. Ibis says yes. It's going to be another Conan film with Arnie, and we're watching it. Yes, definitely. Gavin says he should check out Troll 2 for a bad but good film. I've heard about that one. Legendarily awful film. And she might be getting another tattoo, Zyphe. Like, oh, God. What old? Um, yes, we saw the new Hellraiser movie the, uh, before Clark's Free German, and that was really good. Right. 1408 is a great horror movie. Yeah. Halloween 3 used to scare me as a kid. Watch it recently, don't know why. I might introduce Mrs. Zypho to that one. Um, I haven't watched it in years, and I remember being very confused by it all. There are multiple stages. Oh, yeah, there's an, like an underground cavern stage as well, isn't there, Malamut, to um, monsters? I remember now. And we're going to watch the new Halloween movie at one point as well. Maybe, maybe this weekend, actually. I've heard bad things about the Halloween, Halloween ends. Don't spoiler it for us. But, um, all right. But um, we're going to watch it anyway. Well, all right, let's do one more game request. And then maybe we'll do, we'll start on Cauldron Bloody 2. God. Oh, God. I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. There's some good requests. Someone requested Mad Doctor. Mad Doctor. Is that even a real game? Hang on. Jack Jerko Lantern has donated one pound thirty nine. I would make a skeleton joke. But you wouldn't find it very humorous, where does a skeleton go for a fun night? Anywhere, as long as it's a hip joint, ghouls just want to have fun, it's not really that much smile. Oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> Who's that with the bad jokes there? Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat. Oh, let's wait for my phone to update there. Um... That's jolly, jolly with the bad Halloween uh, jokes there. Exclamation mark pumpkins, jolly. Thank you, uh, posing as Jerko Lantern. Thank you, jolly. You can have some pumpkin bounces for that. Thank you, jolly. Thank you very, very, very much for the one pound thirty nine, jolly. <laughs> I like a bit of Day of the Dead. Me, uh, I, Mrs. Zyphet hasn't seen that yet. She's seen the other um, George Romero, like Dawn of the Dead and stuff. We'll watch that together at some point as well. Oh, hang on. Ewok Conscience has donated one pound. <laughs> Have you no shame? Making Dave Velo wait up to watch you play Cauldron 2. He just wants to see the Witch Queen get gutted like a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> I think that is... 
I think that's a man shovel. Excavation mop pumpkins in the chat. Man shovel. I know Velo's waiting. We have a few game requests. And I think I'm, I, I am kind of putting it off a little bit. So I'm now I'm going to be <laughs> having a rough time. <laughs> cold, the cold and bloody too. I, thank you. Ma that was Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. Thank you very, very much. Pumpkins in the chat. That was a flibble or mad one there. That was Man Shovel. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, Mad Doctor isn't on the Amstrad. Whoever requested Mad Doctor earlier, sadly, it is not on the Amstrad. Unfortunately. All right, then. Someone, several people requested Friday the bloody 13th. Right, we'll have a quick Friday the 13th. And then we are doing... Then we are doing Cauldron 2, okay? This won't, this won't take long, okay? And which is the right file to play on this? I can't remember. Uh, let me just double check. Friday. Welcome back, AD. Welcome back. Right. Here you go, chat. What? Which is the best of the Friday the 13th movies? Thank you. My screen there. Which is the best of the Friday the 13th movies? The original, the first one? Is it, or is it, could it be... Part four, the final, uh, is it, it's called the, is it the final Friday? Or part six, Jason, Jason lives. Or are you partial to part seven with the, uh, the guild of telekinesis powers? Or is it Jason go, Jason takes Manhattan part eight, the cheese? Uh, or are you partial to Jason X, Jason X in space? <laughs> or is it Freddy versus Jason? I always, I, I'm, um, yeah, I'm always partial to part six, Jason Lives. GP of Saturday the 14th. <laughs> this is a, t right, this is not really a good game. Like, you know this one, you know this one. Oh, Friday the 13th. First one, then it went stupid, says OSG. The one where it's his mom all along. <laughs> oh, sorry. If I have I spoiled it for someone in the chat. Ad likes part eight. Jason takes Manhattan. I know. I, that's my. I think that's my second place one. People rag on that one all the time because it's like Jason on a boat for like two thirds of the movie, and then it's actually Jason in Vancouver for <laughs> nearly all of the New York bit, uh, and then you actually get a little bit of him in Times Square. <laughs> For a tiny bit. That's actually quite good when he like lifts his mask up. Yeah, yeah. Not Jason. Not Jason Newstead. <laughs> there was a film called Saturday the 14th, was there? Jason's Donovan. <laughs> and here we go. Lots of inappropriate music. Oh, we get a chainsaw already. So what we're looking for here is the cross. Scary picture already. Oh, scary music, which means Jason is about and stalking his victim. Teddy bear's picnic music. What we're looking for is a cross. Please find the cross and place it in a building and make the building the safe haven. Chainsaw or Jason? There's only. Jason has killed someone. Oh no. Now the cross will be in one of these. Must be in this building here somewhere. You 
interesting choice of music. Oh no, the cross could be in the barn. Ah, ah. Garish colours. There's the cross! We place the cross there. So we're going to get the chainsaw back. Now, we need to find the other counsellors, touch them, and they will get and they will go. Oh, there's two. There's one. Right. How do we know which one is Jason or not? Jason is hiding as one of the counsellors. Those two have gone to the safe safe room. There you go. Oh, we found Jason! There he is. Jason was hiding as a girl with blonde hair and a blue dress. He's a cross-dresser. So Jason, unfortunately, isn't wearing a hockey mask in this game. Which is ruined the game completely. And we have killed him. And that is Friday the 13th of the game. Jason does drag, yeah. The worst interpretation of a Friday the 13th game ever. We've got music that has Teddy Bear's Picnic if you don't go into the woods today. <laughs> yeah, the bungalow was like a TARDIS. We've got Jason walking around without his hockey mask. And he disguises himself as camp counsellors. In what Friday the 13th movie do you remember where Jason disguises himself as a camp counsellor? Lots of garbage. Lots of garbage. This game makes the LGA, LGM game for the NES look awesome. Do you have one more round before we move on? So the idea is you find the uh, cross... You put it in the building, and that makes uh, and that makes the building like a safe house. You go around, find the um, camp counsellors, touch them, and they go to the building where it's a safe house. And you rescue them, and you find Jason and kill him, and the others go to the safe house, and they're safe. But if you touch a camp counsellor, that, 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 that is Jason disguised as a camp counsellor, Jason then knows where the safe house is, and he goes and slaughters everyone in the safe house. That's a good concept for a, 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 like a mass murderer, a serial killer game. That's not Friday the 13th Jason Boys. But, yeah. Yeah, it scores out of 10. Might as well, Velo. Minus 62 out of 100 from Manuel. I'm not being transphobic, though, GP, yeah. I don't, I don't. Hey, secure, Bjorn. Interesting choice of colours to decoration. And that was eye burning. At one of one of those rooms in that bungalow. The Xbox version was good though. Oh yeah, the one on Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam. I love that Friday Thirteenth game from a few years ago. Shame it died out pretty quickly. At least the PC version did, and you couldn't find anyone to play with. I used to stream that game years ago. Old McDonald's music. Ah, we can't go through the door because that music here now, that's the Jason Stalking music. By the way. Oh, get the sword. The animation there on the sprite. Oh! Back to E-I-E-I-O. Although no one is dead, if you look at the bottom of the screen there. Oh, someone has died now. There's a gravestone at the bottom. Jason is back to stalking, so Jason is in his true form at the moment. 7 out of 10, 2 out of 10, 4 out of 13, 1 out of 10. Uh, 1.24 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for cult status. I mean, we do play this like every year on Halloween. It's got to be done, hasn't it? That's it. Oh, there's the cross! In the, in the garish room. I can almost barely see it. Pick 
up the pick up the sword. But this game would have been banned in Germany for that still picture. It pro it possibly would have been. Manuel, what do you reckon? Oh, there's Jason. That was unlucky. Oh god, actually my health is a lot lower because I'm a lady. Oh, I killed him. Too easy. Betty Hill music would be sufficient. <laughs> there we go. Anna, Anna Apocalypse Zero has arrived in, in, just in time to to um distribute some arse candles for Friday the Thirteenth. The game. How many arse candles would you give Friday the Thirteenth, Anna? Al K gives it two out of ten in loads. I think I read that, didn't I? And OJ Bees! Hello OJ! 5 out of 10 from OJ, Magic Knight of 6, Technic of 4, Batman of 5. You ready, Joe, for GP? Okay, fair enough, that's cool. Um. Donnie Darko is amazing. Um. Maniac Cop was another good movie. You have the right to remain silent forever. Bruce Campbell uh, was in that. And then it gets killed off at the start of Maniac Cop 2. What a waste! What a waste! Um. German. Yeah. back up. Quite a few people, Jason takes Manhattan, their fr favourite Friday the 13th. Many at Cop 3 was an abomination though. I think I watched that. I don't remember much about it. Yeah. I don't think this game is that bad. I think if you take the um, Friday the 13th license away from it and call it Serial Killer in a sleep Sleepaway Summer Camp or something like that then maybe you've got an interesting concept for a game. Yeah. Simmy, me too, Jason lives, part six. Yeah. Anna says, arse candle rating. Arse candle carousel, three out of ten, like bathing in arse water. <laughs> right. Guys. Shall we do? Shall we do it then? Is it time for Cauldron Three? I think it might be. Oh God, I've been putting it off long enough. Is it time? I think it's time for Cauldron Three. Sorry, Cauldron Two. I got many a cop on the on the my mind. Ah, it's Cauldron Two. Hang on. Friday the 13th, LXXV. Thank you for the one pound. Jason Voorhees is back. Back in time. This time he's marauding the Oregon Trail, looking for blood. Hide your oxen. Only on Amstrad CPC. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, Friday the 13th LXV for the one pound donor. That's from Man Shovel! Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat. And the Oregon Trail. Bloody hell. <laughs> Thank you, Man Shovel. You can have some pumpkin bounces for that. <laughs> right. Thank you, Man Shovel. Okay, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, oh, my my bloody, um, you count keeps getting stuck tonight. I don't know what's going on. Right. Oh, I have put it off for too long tonight. I have, I have. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's time for Cauldron 2. <laughs> All right, it's Cauldron 2 time. Pausing the music. Hmm. 
No! It's Cauldron 2. No! I hate this game. Bloody bouncing pumpkins. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat. Oh, bring the rain down. Why not? Ah. Oh. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you don't know, Cauldron 2 is my nemesis. It's my most hated game on the Amstrad. It's not a bad game, technically. It has wonderful graphics, wonderful music, lovely presentation, great sound effects. Um, it's wonderfully designed, a great level layout. Um, technically... A fantastically well-made game, but with an awful game mechanic and control method of a bouncing pumpkin. It is horrendous to control, and frustratingly so. Typo's Halloween Nightmare. Yes. Indeed, OJBs. I hate playing this. I hate playing it so much. But, the other week, on the um, Palace Software Am stream. We did give this game a bit of a try, and we spent a bit of time trying to practice and get used to the controls. And we started to get to get some progress. So much so, I started to start to maybe get used to it. And maybe, maybe, maybe we can make some progress. So tonight, we're going to attempt. We're going to attempt to try and get through the whole game. Now, what I might do is I'll try and do maybe 50, 60% of this. Take a break. We'll do some more of your game requests. And then for the rest of the stream, we'll finish off the rest of the game. So what we're going to try and do is... Let me just get my notes here. Uh, I've got some cold and two notes. Um, we're going to... Uh, there's like several items we need to get to get in the game. Like we need to get the crown, uh, the goblet or chalice, the axe, and the scissors. It's like sort of like the middle. This whole map we've got for the game. It's like the middle lower lower part of the map. We're gonna do that first, and then we're gonna take a break. And then we've got to work all the way up to the top of the tower. I'm going to show you the map on the game here. Hang on, where's the map? Oh no. I might have broke something here. Oh no, I think that worked. There's the map of the game. I hope you're going to start here. Work away here, 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 here. Then we're going to take a break. And then for the second part, we're going to try and work our way up to here. And up to the witch. Get this book. And then we're going to get down here. Hang on. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Clash, clash, clash. Sorry. Anthony Doyle. Anthony. Anthony, thank you very, very much for the £1.79 there. Sorry, I did the wrong thing there. And I'll turn off the uh, lightning now. We don't need that on. Anthony, Anthony, thank you very, very, very much, my friend. Thank you for the £1.79 through the super chat there. Exclamation mark, pumpkins in the chat. Check out Death's Bill. It's heavy. Um, we might have time for some more requests later, Anthony. 
But just start, unfortunately, just join in uh, 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 as we are starting our Cauldron 2 playthrough. And I now can just finish on the request. We might have time for some more later, Anthony. Thank you very, very much for the uh, £1.79 uh, dono. I'll make a note that you did uh, do a dono. So, um, we will come back and do some more requests in a bit, my friend. Thank you, Anthony. Um, Deathsville. Oh, God, is that the sequel to, um, um, Tombstone? Whoa! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Spooky Waddo? Is that a Lewis Waddo? You can have a pumpkin bounce from me. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who you gonna call? Ghost Zypho. <laughs> if there's something weird and it don't look good, who you gonna call? Ghost Zypho. <laughs> it's Friday, it's spooky, and I got a whole load of 8 bit love for the AMS fans. Lewis Waddo! Lou, thank you very, very much, my friend! <laughs> Actually, I'm not a ghost this year. I'm a, I'm a decapitated pumpkin head. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for Lou as well there. Lewis. Thank you very, very, very much, my friend. Have an Am's witch as well. Thank you, Lou. How you doing, my friend? Thank you very, very, very much, mate. How you doing, Lewis? <laughs> ghost. Ghost foe. <laughs> A bit of love to you as well, mate. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you, mate. How's things in the arcade club? Uh, welcome, my friend. Welcome. How you doing? Um, and also, Anthony Doyle. Thank you, mate. I'll put Desville at the top of the request list if I can, mate, for you. So I think that's a sequel to um, Tombstone, which we had as a... Um, Featured long play on the um, Halloween Am screen a couple of years ago. Oh, I'd like to check out Deathville. So cool, Anthony. Thank you. And Lou, lots of love to you. A bit love to you too, my friend. Right, so Cauldron 2. Cauldron 2. Cauldron 2. Cauldron 2. Uh, let me just open up my map in my other screen. One second, guys. Uh, I need a map open for this. Right, okay. Uh, you go over here. Okay, cool. I'm ready to rock. Right, what I'm going to do here is take a snappy. What I want to do um, <clears throat> for this is we want to spawn. Like, like when the game starts you off, the game will start you uh, at random locations. Um, what we want to do is we want the game to spawn us in the center of the map uh, Where the crown is and that they'll give us the best starting location possible And we can work for that starting location on the best possible route, okay I've heard uh, a rumor and I'll show you that there was a poem in the inlay for cauldron 2 do you want me to read it out? Do you want me to read that out? Matt, I think Matt um, didn't... Um, I think Valo wanted me to read that out, didn't he, as well? Hang on. Oh, I don't have that. It's not on um, CPC Power's website. Uh... And Lewis, hello again, Lewis. Oh, is Nick off? Uh, do you know what each of the items do? I think you have to just have to collect them, Retro Boss. But you need the scissors to cut the witch's hair. That's I think that's the only item you pretty much need to do for a particular objective. Uh, Sunmaster, hello, Sunmaster, welcome. And Technic, it's got to hit the hay. Have a radio start tomorrow. Good night, Technic. Uh, have a good sleep, mate, and have a great weekend, dude. Take care, mate. You can do whatever you want, Jolly, if you want to tune out with Colton 2 in the background. That's cool, mate. As I said, that description on how you're going to complete the game is usually how our sprint planning meetings at work go. And two weeks later, we have, to, we have done nowhere near as good as we said. <laughs> I hear you on that, OSG. I hear you on that. I'm disliking if you do this, Sypho. Really? GP? Why? What if, if I beat the game? A 
Okay, I'll catch you in the stream on Monday then. So, uh, but read the poem out from the inlay, says Velo. But Velo, I've only got the French version online on CT Power. Oh God, hang on, I will get to the game, guys. Sorry. Jolly. Thank you for the one pound. <laughs> So is this becoming a tradition? We pester you all year to play Cauldron 2 and on Halloween you complete it. I mean it's bloody good. Well, I don't I can't promise I will complete it. I will do my very, very best to. I will do my very, very best to. Um I I, I oh Velo, I don't know where I can find the poem. Oh, it's in the box art section. Oh sorry, Velo, Velo, okay, thank you, Velo. Thank you, Velo. Box art, box art, okay. Right, I found it. I found it. Thank you, Velo. Uh, Jolly, thank you very, very much for the £1. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. I'll get I'll get to the game shortly. Right, okay. I found it. I found it. Uh, Jolly, thank you again, my friend. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for Jolly. There you go. Thank you, Jolly. Uh, and Dreamy. Good night, Dreamy, as well. Good night, Dreamy. Take care, Dreamy. Right, here's the poem. Sorry. I'll be ready. Here once, here once the tiny cottage stood, a mighty palace dwarfs the wood, and there within the highest tower, the witch queen wields her mighty power. A rule of evil across the land, with ghosts and gargoyles close at hand. Her enemies destroyed this night, yet one remains to set things right. A pumpkin warrior, brave and good, the last survivor from the wood. So go now swiftly, climb the stair, and cut a lock of witch's hair. That's the only task we need to do. Set out then the cauldron black and brew a spell to change things back. Then the hag will know defeat and thy revenge will be complete. There you go. So, right, from the map, we're going to try and get a starting location here. Bloody hell, I will get to the game. I, I can't switch back. I, oh, I can, I think. Hang on. Thank you, Dick Hardigan. <laughs> what would be the most punishing? Cauldron 2 or Bridget? Um, Bridget, probably. Actually, maybe Cauldron 2. We shall find out shortly. We shall find out shortly. Thank you, Dick Hard again. Thank you. I'm going to have to just quickly pop back over. Otherwise, I'm never going to get to the end of describing this for people. Thank you, Dick Hardigan. Thank you. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat. Thank you. Um, uh, I'm, again, that's from the hidden email address and PayPal. So I don't know who that was. So thank you, Flibble or Mad One. I'm not sure who that was. So anyway, thank you very, very much. Pumpkins in the chat. Right, we're going to try and get a spawn at the start of the game where we're here, near the crown. We get the crown. We go across, down, round here. We get the chalice, the goblet, then we get the axe. And then we have to go down to this corner here. And then we have to get out here, this little window, and it will this little ledge will like tilt us out like this. And it bounces us down here to get the scissors. The scissors will be able to cut the witch's hair. The witch is fast asleep on a bed at the top of the tower. And they have this horrible task. This is where we'll probably take a break. And then we have the horrible task of getting all the way up, 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 which is a nightmare. We get the, I think this is the shield on the way up to here. This is where the witch is sleeping. And we cut a, cut a bit of her hair off. That is the only item we need to do a specific task to answer Retro or Bus's question. And then with this horrible climb here, is where we're going to lose a lot of energy in life to get the, the witch's book and as it as this picture here describes just bounce out bounce all the way down and bounce down here probably lose a life just kill ourselves and end up spawning down here we'll come down here and go down here to the cauldron with all the items to complete the game that's the quickest route through the game guys that's how that's that's the plan that's the plan of action okay so i hope everyone is sort of roughly with us but once we'll start here 
get the chalice, get the axe, get the scissors, and probably take a break there at the halfway point, and then do some requests, and then we'll work our way up here. Or maybe we'll, we'll work our way up to here, take a break, before we do this last bit, because that's horrible. That is horrible. Okay. 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 Thank you again, Dick Hardigan. For the one pound dono again. Right. Right, let's crack on. And let's hopefully hope it spawns us um, where the um, throne room of the um, um, uh, crown is. Right, okay. Let's go. Arse! Let's try again. Yes, right. First, first save point. So it spawned us in the throne room. Right, so just happy here. One star. So, first task get the crown. This could take some bouncing. Okay, and uh, he's gone in the background. We'll put it on quietly. Okay. All right. Be loud, maybe down a touch more. Okay, cool. I'll have a drink. We start. We start. <laughs> OSG asks. <laughs> Are we using safe states? <laughs> Am I going to dignify that with an answer? Are we are we using save states? <laughs> that may be the dumbest question you've ever asked. All right, we got oh, we got the crown. Let's take a save state. <laughs> Anna says I think that's a maybe. Even the guy on YouTube who's uh, done a long play of this in like under like 20 minutes, I can see the joins where he's used save states and done splices on his video. The guy who did the original long play of Cauldron to Axelino. Oops. Um. He took actually like 45 minutes to complete the game because he did it really carefully and properly. Bless him. So obvious the other guy who's done this like in 20 minutes as he used save states. Um, uh, he shall remain nameless. Oh, us. Lifo, check Discord. I've just started Retro Bus. What's going on? <laughs> Hang on. Stop bouncing on the boner. It's a family stream. Hang on. Hang on, Retro Bust. Uh, Port OSG, that's harsh. I know. I know. I, I'm, only, I'm only teasing him. It's Bants. And I, he was teasing me originally. On with it gets a smoothie. I know. I know. Come on. Oh. So you look at that. We need to come on, come on, right? Okay. Let me just check. Am I am I going to go to the right here? So I'm going to get the crowd. Yeah, we need to go far right here. Okay, we haven't got a weapon yet to get the um um. Oh, actually, Retro Bus, you've got actually some useful tips there. Thank you. Sorry, I thought there was like a photo or video you wanted me to share. Sorry, Retro Bus. So, Retro Bus has actually posted some useful tips in the Discord. The crown protects you from the magic in the witch's bedroom. Oh. The shield protects you from the skeletons. Oh. The chalice protects you from the reverse controls by the severed hands. Oh. Oh. The axe opens locked doors. Oh. 
Scissors cuts the witch's hair. The spell book is needed to complete the game after getting the hair. That is very interesting. I was not aware of that. I'm going to make a note of that. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Retro or Bust. Those are top tips. I will post them in the chat if I can. Oh, it's actually too long to post. Uh, uh, uh. Hang on. Right, okay. Oh, for God's sake. Hang on. Okay, I'll post it in the chat there for you as well. There you go. There. Cool. Thank you, Rob. Uh, some of us iPhones don't have women who tap themselves for us. We're not all into UK retro gaming shows, big showbiz like you. Aww. G GP, post a picture of your face in the Discord and I'll get you tattooed on my bum cheek. Um, actually, I can't read that out. He watches. He watches sometimes. Thank you, Retro Bus. I appreciate that. Right. Um, Bello says, I've got a GP tattoo. Have you? Post it in the Discord, Bello. And I'll show it on stream. Get over this freaking skeleton, man. No! <laughs> oh, shut up, stupid witch. We need to get over this skeleton, right? Yay! Save, 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 save. Right, uh, we just need to push right here. go right here but i'm stuck on those steps yeah, i'll load that up again sounds right little dude Okay, that's good. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Right. Okay. Uh, we will save that there. I'm about to go and get the chalice. What? Oh, it respawned. No, I'm trying to push. Oh, you. this game oh okay right anyway uh oh she does the cc portion look as good uh, uh uh same voice up to but dollar okay um oh i saw that gimp news article there's a man in a gimp costume running around the woods somewhere <laughs> yeah the gp is it not um have you got the chalice? No, it's just how my trousers hang. <laughs> There's Anna. Right. We are after actually after the chalice or the goblet. 
Will we get it? It's just below us. Okay, right. Not far below. Uh, we need to drop down the gap here, go left, and then go right. Okay. Right, okay, it's a difficult one here. We've got to bounce. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We've got to bounce over the skeleton. Somehow bounce over the skelly bob. Oh! Don't know how we're gonna do this. We've got to get over the skelly bob. How do we get over this skeleton? That's the question. Hmm. Go to fall for next year's Halloween long play, Castle Master. That might not be a bad one. Be a bit slow paced, but um, how are we going to get this time in? Oh, hmm. Oh, come on! How am I supposed to put... The chalice is just to the right there. The chalice is just to the right, guys. How am I supposed to get over that skeleton? Take out his knees. Yeah, I need that... Oh, yeah. Shield protects you from the skeletons. See, if you're doing this properly, maybe you need to go and get that shield thing that protects you from the skeletons. But we're trying to, like, speed run this and do this quickly. It is. I've seen. I've seen um, a certain person do it on their video. Ah! No, that's a bad snapshot. No. And it makes it very obvious that they they are using snapshots in their uh, <laughs> video. Because they do an absolutely impossible jump here to get over the skeleton. Right. We'll get there. We'll do it. Come on. Oh, I, knew it. I think we would have, might have had it there. But I got my controls reversed by the uh, hand there. Ah! Come on. Hits. Yes! Yes! But my controls are currently reversed. They're currently reversed, which is going to make things awkward. Oh, they don't, they don't last. Okay, that's cool.
Oh! Okay. Oh, that's a waste. That's a waste. Arse oh, biscuits. Right, how do you horns ah uh, horns are sharp. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. How... How do you jump on the statues without bloody... Um... Also, how do you end... How do you push right and jump without bloody... Oh, I got it! I'm always using magic up every time I jump, Bello. How do I not do that? Horns when good lord ain't gonna happen small jump big jump i'm not sure every time because like i want to push like i do a, ju a jump and I'm, I'm, like move right but it fires your weapon every time that that's what annoys me and you lose magic every time um so how do you not end up shooting your weapon every time you want to jump left and jump right that's another thing that always gets me in Cauldron too. I think I lost way too much magic there, so I'm going to have to do that again. Annoying. Wasted so much energy all, all the freaking time. It's annoying. Doesn't up make you jump. No. Again. You see, five button suppresses bounds. A five button makes you bounds, doesn't it? Ah! Why isn't he moving? I'm pushing right to bounce right and he's stuck. Maybe you should go see a doctor to ask about how not to shoot your weapon when you don't want it to happen. <laughs> Fire makes you jump less or the other way around. It's because you're shooting, that's what eats your magic. But it also makes you jump. Fireburn also makes you jump higher, Batman, doesn't it? I want to be able to jump higher. So how do I jump higher but without shooting my weapon? Because fire and right makes you shoot right. But I want to jump higher and move right at the same time. That's th that, that that's the issue. Hang on. Sorry, hang on. Oh, this game. Yeah, when you're at high, you can move at the fire button press. But you lose your height. Well, I, I see what you kind of see what you're saying. But you want to maintain the height on the next jump. You see, you lose... See, I wanted to make the next jump a high one as well. That's the problem. Zypher, hold down your fire for a jump. Once you got the height you want, release the fire button and move left to right. 
Yeah. You see, okay. The problem is, you want your next jump to be a high one as well after the, the after the current jump. So you jump high, and then you come down. You want the next one to be a high one that follows straight after. That's the problem. And you end up spunking your um, your. Uh, maybe stay in play. Oh, okay. I don't know. The kind of game where you want to sort of keep it going. Feel, uh -uh. Hmm. I'll die there. Uh, it's, it's, it, hmm. Especially if an enemy reappears. Okay. May, maybe you're right, maybe you're right. Right, okay, maybe take your time more. But the problem is, you want, sometimes want to move fast because of the, the killing an enemy, the enemy reappears. Okay, okay, all right, okay. Right, okay. Save state when you get past the top, I suppose. All right, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm funny guy. Hello, I'm funny guy. Hi, welcome into the stream. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm overcomplicating it. Maybe I'm trying to go too fast. Yeah, yeah. A really frustrating freaking game. True, true. And the Music Man. Hello, Music Man 3512. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it. Maybe I am. This one, I will have to hold the fire button down because I... This is the case. This is the case where I'm talking about. Yeah, I have to hold down the fire button here because... Right. Once I bounce here and bounce on this one... You yeah, have to do a big jump immediately off because this thing will tilt this way. Um, the hand tilts it downwards, right? And will fly, will ping you off that way to your doom, right? So you have to do a big jump and immediately push left. So you will spunk by right, your, your magic there. No, without, yeah, there's no question that will happen, right? That happens. So you will lose a bit of your magic there. Okay. Oh, Lewis, is that your missus? The uh, I'm funny guy in the chat. Really? <laughs> we'll jump onto the platform closest to Gargoyle, then a big jump. Did you, OSG say, did you say that earlier? It's sometimes easier when you just sat staring at it. it, it I'm, I'm trying to consider other things there as well, but thank you. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you, OSG. Right. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, no! Ah! All right, I'll screw that up. Don't worry. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, we're good. Let's just take a step. All right. And now we've got to get past this skelly bob. All right. Okay. Never thought I'd see you doing a long play on this, mate. How's the frustrating level? It's, it's rising. It's starting to rise, but we're all right. We're all right. We're all right. We're good. How are you doing, Lucas? You back from the pub, mate? All right. We've got to get past this skelly bob without the shield, so it's going to be a tough one.
Yeah, I hear you, Velo. I hear you, Velo. Yeah. Welcome, Mrs. Waddo. No worries, Lou. Welcome in, Mrs. Waddo. Um, why the username I'm Funny Guy, though? <laughs> That's just... Welcome in, Mrs. Waddo. How you doing? Welcome to welcome to the stream. I'm a I'm a decapitated pumpkin head tonight for Halloween for for some reason. I, I could take I could take the hang on. I could take the death here and lose a life. That might be easier. Oh. Ooh. Should we just take the loss of life here and move on? Oh, that's so oh, oh that was so close. I'm so close. Oh. I don't know what I don't know. It's what I was assigned. I'm not at all funny. <laughs> and are you a guy? <laughs> uh, Cipher, well done. You helped create the spunkin pumpkin. <laughs> I have, haven't I? Oh God. You play Amstrad. She had a 6128 for some reason. She liked to horror it. Uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show on the Amstrad. Awesome. Well, you come to the right place. We're a big Amstrad nerd community here. Welcome, I'm funny. <laughs> I don't know if we could get past this skeleton. I think we should just maybe take the loss of life and move on. What were, um, what were your other favourite um, six one Amstrad six one two eight games? Um, I'm funny. Oh, that was close. That was close there. No one tires. It's just shit. Hey. Trying to see if there's any way of getting. Uh... No. Trying to see. Hi, Antaeus. How you doing, buddy? Ah! Oh! I mean, we need to props spin on. Can I? Worse, Antaeus. Worse. Yes. No. Mm. Oh! Should I just take the loss of life? I think we can maybe... That! That's... That's how... Why are you finding magic all the time? Because I'm holding... Doing the big bounds. I'm doing the big bounds. Bounce, bounce right of right pillar. Why? Oh, maybe I could let him come all the way to the right. Wait for him. Gives me a bit of time. Uh, Andrea says, I have never played Cauldron. I had, I had bought it as a kid if I'd seen it. I'm just waiting for Pete Walker to come in with a witch comment now, Andrea. Right, let's try the save here. And let's... There. 
No. No. Here we go. No. Try it here. Close. Right here. Ass. Hey, Brian. How you doing, buddy? Oh, oh, oh. That wasn't too bad. Lose a life. I think we should just lose a life. I think it's worth taking the L. Otherwise, we're never. We're just never gonna <laughs> get anywhere. Magic's at 40, 30, 35, 40 percent, isn't it? It's just. I mean, like, there's certain uh, YouTubers, shall remain nameless, who got past this skeleton twice on his long play. Like, 100% use snapshots. <laughs> oh! Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> GG's in the chat. Safe state king. <laughs> Well, 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 I want a happy bouncing pumpkin. Let's go. And the pumpkin looks very squashed and flat there at the moment in the game. Blimey. Bang, 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 bang. Ha ha, skeleton. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. Tall Paul, good evening, TP. How you doing, Tall Paul? <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Jolly! I'm an Am's witch. Jolly! Thank you for the one pound. Look how freaking happy this game makes you smile. It's wonderful. DGG. <laughs> I'm only happy because I beat that bloody bit there. I suppose, oh, okay, I suppose Cauldron 2 has made me smile there. Jolly, thank you very, very, very much for the dono there. cypho has been sniffing gloom again. <laughs> thank you, Brian. <laughs> I'm disappointed pumpkin head tonight. <laughs> All right. Uh, Andrew says Halloween based. I had Ghostbusters, Ghost Hunters. That's a good one as well. Oliver Twins, Frankenstein Junior, Andrea. Yeah, and I guess Running on the Ropes is sort of Halloween. Batsman. Is oh yeah, ha Running on the Ropes is definitely a good Halloween game. Definitely, definitely. In a ha ha inhaling the happy green fog. From Mrs. Ipo's ass, yes. <laughs> right, there we go. All right. Let's, let's go. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, we could get magic here as well. Right, just pausing it there. Right, where am I? Where am I? All right, we're after the axe now. The axe. What does the axe do? The axe opens locked doors, and it's just to the left here, not far. Oh, actually. 
need to... Ah, oh, the bat's chasing us. Fart sakes. Uh... Right, I think that's okay. Uh, I might land on something bad below, though. Uh, take a snappy. Oops. Okay. Uh, where have you been, Lucas, this evening, anyway? Been anywhere cool with mates? Yeah, I knew that was going to be... Oh, can we shoot down? Let's go. Get out of the way of the spider. Yes! Right, we've got the axe. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have three items already. That's brilliant. Cool. We are doing really well so far tonight. That's good. Holy crap. Take a save there. How many items is there in the game? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six items, I think. Seven if you include the witch's hair. And uh, eight if you include the cauldron where you take the items too. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. These were pretty close together. Don't take a millisecond before some fire wolves tore me apart. <laughs> um, okay. Um, right. Um, plus, uh, okay. Right, okay. All right, okay. So now we are after the scissors. And we've got a bit of an awkward jump out some windows now. Okay, I've got my map open on my monitor. All right, just push left here. Pushing left. Okay. It's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Save there. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. We wanted to go. No, no. There. Oh, for God's sakes, Al. Let's take that again. We need to go up here. And we want to go across and get that. Elf. No, you dipstick. I've been at a mate's on the new Modern Warfare 2, mate. It's okay. Cool, man.
What I need is, I need to get, um, I need to go through this window there. Right, let's take a save here. Let's go out that window where that hand is. Right. Uh. <laughs> A's is sexy. Go out, let's go this way. Oh, no. Hang on. Us! Too close to it. Okay, we're about here. I think I'm getting. Am I getting the hang of this? No! Holy crap! I'm getting the hang of this. I'm starting to get the hang of this. <gasps> yes! That's exactly what I wanted to do. I need you to bounce back in this window. That's brilliant. Okay. And then... We go... I think we go... Yes! We go this way. We go this way. Yes! I know exactly what I'm doing now. Okay. So, let me just... Do you want me to show you on the map, guys? It'll probably it'll be easier. Okay. Um, so no one's confused. Right, we are. Uh, hang on. No shit, need to get the mouse. There we go. We are here. We just went out this window here and we came in this bottom one. Saved a long sort of trip around here. Now, here, we need to go across here. We get to this gargoyle there. And he's what he's going to do if we get on this little hand, the little hand thing, and he's going to tip us like that. And he should tip us onto the scissors, which are floating above, like, the forest. Right? Get onto there. There's a gargoyle there. He's got that hand. He has this flat hand. And he tips us. Like, and he get on it. And he tips like that. Tip us onto the scissors. That's what we're trying to go and do next. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, we're fairly close to where we'll probably maybe take a break from Cauldron 2. And go to some of your like game requests just to break things up for tonight so it doesn't get too um, boring. Okay. <laughs> Unless people want me to carry on with Cauldron 2, well, I'll, I'll ask the cat. I'll, I'll ask the chat. Woohoo! It's Mad Commodore. Welcome, Mad Commodore. How you doing? GP says Slopes, Ashes, Nostalgia Nerd aren't sexy like Zypho and RMC Neil. Oh. We could put it to a vote. <laughs> um. When you jump, your trajectory always starts on the ground. Top tip from Velo there. Yes. Bloody hell. I'm starting to get the hang of it, I think, Velo. I think I am. A little bit. A little bit. Mark Andrews. Hello, Mark. Welcome back to the stream. Even you all. Last week, I mentioned I'm more familiar with ZX Spectrum software and Amstrad software. Uh, were the Amstrad owners unlucky enough to get an edition of Friday the 13th by Darmok? <laughs> A bad Spectrum game. Um... Yes, you just missed us playing Friday the 13th. That was the last game we played before doing Cauldron 2. We completed the game. We looped the game twice before we just swiftly moved on to this. You can actually rewind the stream, I think, on YouTube. And you can catch a bit of that if you want to. <laughs> Welcome, Mark. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's a yearly tradition doing Friday the 13th on the Halloween AM screen. Welcome, welcome again, Mark. Welcome in again. You haven't finished this yet. And so, yes, we intend to tonight. I thought we'd do this in two parts tonight, potentially. Yeah. Yes, you can rewind the stream. Thank you, Andrea. Yeah. And, guys, if you enjoyed the stream tonight, don't forget to give us a like and a thumbs up. I very much appreciate it. It does get the video and stream suggested to more people on YouTube. Um, where do I need to go here? 
I need to just drop straight down here. I've got to be very careful about this bit here, actually. If I drop too far, I may never get back up again. A map here. Us. No. Oh, no, that's okay. Right, it's here. There, that's where the gargoyle is. Will he do it? That's where it was. Although. No, it's okay. We got them. Doesn't matter. You can still jump and get them. We got the scissors. That's the next item. Don't care. We got them. And I think we got a health restore as well, didn't we? We did. DG's in the chat. Let me just meet the microphone. There's my tissue. Hang on. Sorry, guys. One sec. <laughs> Oh, I think I've got a cold coming on. Sorry, that caught me short there. Right. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I did. That. Sorry about the ams honk there. Wow. Wow. Okay. All that's left to get then is the shield, the uh, a cut in the witch's hair, and the um, book. And just to show you then, um, all that's left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry about the ams honk. Uh, you have a cold run too. I think I've got a cold coming on. Ugh, yeah, sorry about that. That was a snot about to come out my nose. I had to go and blow it very quickly. Sorry about that. Bad bogeys. Didn't realise you had to play. Uh, you played Friday the Thirteenth. It was so quick when I scrolled back. Oh yeah, Tall Paul, you just missed Friday the Thirteenth as well, mate. I hope you're keeping well, Tall Paul. Did you get wrecked again? No, we're doing well on Cauldron too. I would. I would, I would say. I wouldn't say we're halfway through the game because we've got a terrible... The hard bit is coming up now, I'd say. Let me show you why, boys and girls. Let me show you why. This is the map of the game. Let's show you the other map, actually. This is the true map. We're down... Hang on, where's my mouse cursor? We're down here. The problem is... It's easy to go from here and work downwards. The hard bit in Cauldron 2 is going up, right? Working your way up. It's easy to drop. The hard bit is going up, bouncing up and getting up to platforms. We're now down here and now we've got to work our way upwards to here. Uh, maybe not be may not be too bad but then we've got to work our way up this horrible section here eh, 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 eh. to the witch in her bed and uh, there's the witch and cut uh, a lock of her hair then we've got to go up this horrible tower here to the book get the book and then we could just drop all the way out here and actually suicide ourselves. So if we just drop off the edge here and suicide ourselves, it actually respawns us in respawns us in the woods, which we can then do a little shortcut here to the cauldron at the end. You drop all the items in the cauldron and the game is won. And that is the end of cauldron two. So we'll see if we can start making our way up the tower. 
uh, and making some progress if we can. And, and maybe we'll take a break halfway through and come and finish the game off at the end of the stream or something like that. And we'll do some more game requests. Let me know what you want me to do, ch uh, chat, if you want me to take a break. Whoa! Hang on. Holy crap, Pat McNulls! Slash watch. V equals kvih 5 v 3 mc very scary. What's this? You sent me a video to watch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh. You might have to send me that on Discord. I can't pop... See, the problem with Streamlabs, uh, uh, Pat McNulls, is it won't let me copy and paste, like, chat messages. I know it sounds really strange. Could you, um... Could you uh, send me that in Discord in a DM or something? <laughs> the Halloween bum fights or MP4 says Mad Commodore. Um, oh, Velo says I can't stay awake any longer. I'm going to watch Cauldron Two Part uh, Cauldron Two Part Two and VOD tomorrow. Fair enough, Velo. No worries. Uh, what I'll do, what I do on my uh, VODs or like um, downstream catch up vids. Oh, exclamation! What popped into the chat quickly for uh, Pat McNulls? Um, is I put chapters on my uh, Amstream catch-up videos so you'll be able to find it tomorrow as well. So, thank you, thank you, Velo. I'm sure you probably see that. Um, have a lovely evening. Thanks for streaming out. I hope you're feeling a sense of achievement. Yeah, enclosure on a cauldron bloody two. Wait till you see what Monday's um, Halloween video is, uh, Velo, as well. I think you'll like it. Hopefully, I'll get it done in time for Halloween as well. Good night, Velo. A little Halloween pumpkin bounce for you to send you to good uh, send send you to sleep. Good night, Velo. Closure. I know, I know. I'll never get closure on Bridget though. <laughs> good night, Velo. Have a great weekend, mate. Oh, let me just turn off the dancing sugars. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, the view count stuck again. Right. Okay. Let me just have a quick drink. Um. I was close enough to play another uh, bloody Halloween ever again. Play, play this game another bloody Halloween ever again. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, Pat McNulls. You might have to DM me that uh, video link in the Discord. Guys, I just need to get a drink from the fridge. Be right back. 30 seconds. Okay. And let me know if you want, to be want me to carry on with Cauldron 2 for a little bit longer or something. Okay. Be right back. It'll be Super Cauldron next. Nah, I think I'll leave Super Cauldron for tonight. So, are we carrying on for just a little bit longer? Let's see how far I can get maybe just moving up um, this castle for a little bit, maybe. 
Did we take a save? I think we did. Let me just take one just in case. So are we carry on just for a little bit longer and cold and... Oh. That's good. That's good. Okay, doesn't mind more cauldron. Okay, cool. Cool. That was good. We did well there. Let's just keep moving right. But keep on the red. Can we? All right. Need to keep moving right here. But keep on the red. That forms. Don't fall down there. Good. Save there. Lost a bit of magic. We're okay. Uh, we go after this bit. We're going upstairs and going left. Okay. Hits. Do this again. How do we? We're stuck on the steps now. Like, we're, uh, you see what happened? See what's happened there now? We're kind of stuck on that like right step, aren't we, boys and girls? Uh, hmm. Both you're getting pretty good at handing the jerky lance and physics. Not, yeah, not bad, man, shovel. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Damn it, I should have saved then, shouldn't I? Left! He won't bounce left! Oh, you son of a... Arse biscuit. That's a new phrase. Son of an arse biscuit. Do you like that, Anna? Big bounce. And then... I'm going to save that there. They've saved time. Uh, wait, only three cauldron three is super. Yes, Su super cauldron is indeed super. He's loving this game, I can tell. I'm starting to get a handle on it. I'm starting to get the handle on the physics. Thank you to OSG and Velo for their tips. And there was Maud, I think Maud and Malamut, I think gave good tips actually earlier about being a bit more patient. Yeah. Jerk off lantern, spunkin pumpkin. That's right, Anna. Oh, Sp in spider is instant death. Not bad, but you're not a Jedi yet. Yeah. I quite like that. Son of an ass biscuit.
Yeah. Might use that more often. Ah! Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, I'll carry on. Go away, hand. Is it worth getting that magic? There is magic there. I take a save. If we get the magic, will we get stuck in there? Yeah, that was a wise move. We got the magic. We got the magic. That's good. Right. Right, where am I going next? Oh, right, we've got to get this freaking tower. Okay. That's like you son of a turd. GP says, I posted it. Only donor, but I'm impressed. GP wants to post... Uh, uh, this is the dono uh gp uh posted uh the link to cosmo demo 22 from the amstradians facebook at this uh pardon me well see for yourself oh hang on hang on hang on hang on uh so this is the when gp post uh did a dono this is the video he wanted me to display on the stream boys and girls let's have let's take a look at this Okay, Cosmo Demo 2022. Uh, mini demo displayed at Amstrad Eterno 2022. That was a fe Amstrad festival in Spain, which is quite popular. Um, in Barcelona. Okay, Amstrad from the Amstradians Facebook page. Are you ready? Let's check this out. Right. Uh, two minutes long. Ooh, Thundercats. And it's nothing dodgy for one Sada, because like, she's like, oh, phew. Nice Thundercats graphics. Is it just Thundercats graphics? This is like the original Thundercats music from the Amstrad game by David Whittaker, isn't it? Yeah, oh, they just added some uh, new graphics of the original uh, music by David Whittaker. I suppose it's kind of a demo. They're just adding um, a new loading screen, haven't they? The Thundercats game. I've always, I've always liked this music that David Whittaker, even though it's not the original actual Thundercats theme. But this was the music on the title screen of Thundercats, the computer game from Elite Systems. Yeah. Thunder, 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 Thundercats! Oh! Maybe they might add new sprites. Yeah. Another great title, sc no, title screen by Eric Titan. Kubizol. He did the title screen on Zyphos Nightmare and many, many other games now. 
Cool stuff. I finally finished, yeah, might as well, might as well let it play out. Cool, thank you, GP. Thank you. There you go. Right, nice, nice. I might have to just uh, volume down. Where was my volume before? Okay. Right, okay. Um, we'll carry on a little bit longer. Tell me, guys, tell me when you want me to go back to some, uh, doing some Amsterdam horror game requests. Wait, you boys and girls, okay? Okay, cool. Uh, take a save there. Art sakes. Ah. Uh. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Lost 10% of magic there by not... Oh, for goodness sakes. We made it there. We made it there. Is it worth saving it there? I think there might be an energy restore coming up on the way. Let's try it. Let's go. I'm stuck at the candle, so let's go. Oh no! No, no, they've all come back. Okay, we gotta go. Okay. Save it here. This is the difficult room. Oh, I'm wasting so much energy. Right, how do we do this one? You don't. Okay. Big jump. Okay, go, 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 go. Bart. There's energy restore there. That's what we need. Okay, okay, okay. Up and over. There. 
So we need like we need like a med. There's like so guys in this game. There's like a small jump, a medium jump, and a big jump. So our points there. So we needed medium jump like over the candle, and then small jump. Duh, 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 duh. So we needed some, like a so yeah. So what here we needed like a medium needed like a medium jump to get up there, and then kind of like a medium jump onto the candle when it was snuffed out. The flame will kill you or harm you. So a medium jump there, 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 there. And then we needed a big jump to get up there. So you're alternating between small jumps, big jumps, and uh, uh, small jumps, medium jumps, and big jumps. So yeah, this is a really difficult game. That's the one thing I forgot to sort of kind of like mention with this game. You are holding down fire button to like power up your bounds and there's three levels of bounds the, the, the small bounds the medium bounds and the big bounds <laughs> oh yeah ancient spirits of evil transform this cave form into moral the ever living oh yes good old thunder cats so yeah cauldron this is horror enough for one night i know i know We're not making too bad progress getting up the castle here. Right, let's take a save. Right. And magic restored. Awesome. This is good. No, nope. that's a waste of 10% of energy. We'll do that again. Hit! Right, we'll do that again. So if you get hit by an enemy, you lose 10% of your magic or en energy. Ba -boo! I'm going to take a snapshot before we get to that dagger. Looking at the map at the moment. Okay, yeah, we need to go up the up these steps to the left. you freaking dare bounce back down big jump and bounce left back keep bouncing left there's a sp oh, no no spider bad spider bad spider bad spider bad spider bad spider it's not even that evil compared to oh no 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 Our pumpkins have bad problems climbing stairs. Go, go, go. Might as well get the uh, health. Right. <laughs> Right. 
get up on this. Oh no! I don't think. Oh, we can't drop down there. I don't think we need. We can't get back up there. I don't think. I don't think we can get from this ledge to that ledge. Oh. Uh, CDJ says, I showed my young niece Thundercats, but she said no, too superhero y. <laughs> what? Fair enough. Um, this is not even that evil compared to some 8 bits. Some not come brain. So, what's that? Some not come brain wondering. Why is Yellow Belly in this game? Which character we... Oh, were you referring to this character down here that appeared? I think we're going to have to... You reckon that looks like Yellow Belly, Steve? I'll tell him. I don't... Ooh, if you can get right on the edge of that red one... Try ricocheting off the wall. I'm I'm losing so much energy. Look at my magic. Yeah, I think we're going to go back to an earlier snapshot. Through dropping down for... Oh, God, I'm back here. Out the fine hand. Oh god, the spider of doom. Oh, we'll just take the L there. No! We fell down the gap again. Freaking respawning enemies as well is pretty tilting. Right, come on. Hit a drumstick. Oh, come on! I wasn't anywhere near that bloody thing. Right. Tits! How the fuck? I've got to get up there. Oh. How the... I, actually, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? Actually, how... Can I even get up there? Is 
Is that even possible? Is that even possible? That now. Oh, I don't know. Pick a snappy here quick. The uh, problem is this thing's just gonna keep constantly freaking respawning. Fast high jump. Tits, what, where? I <laughs> know. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Jolly. Good night, Jolly. Thank you for the donos earlier, Jolly. Thank you, mate. You take care. Have a great weekend. And hopefully we'll catch you again soon, my friend. See you soon, dude. And Will 101. <laughs> yeah, evil gameplay. Jolly, take care, dude. Yes! No! Yes! Take a save. It is possible. It is freaking possible. Bloody hell. Wow. Wow. Okay, so share. What's the easiest way to go? Probably this way. Out here, actually. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't chase me. Maybe. No! No! It's alright. Okay, we got Snappy. Actually, no. Probably, probably be better going this way. Okay. A very low energy. sake oh okay the worst game is kick community on the mega drive no save no password has 80 level oh my god okay so we need to do big jump oh, hang on the big jump here gets a that no that's terrible right, i've got two percent health No! 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 God. No! Stuck! Oh, it's all going terribly wrong. Magic at 31%. Let's go. Right, we need to somehow work our way up here. Wish the fellow could make a video and prove as he could finish the game. <laughs> yeah, prove it, Richard Linefellow, whatever his name was, he did this. I'd rather land an eagle in Zypho's glory hole. What? <laughs> game is a glorified golf game. 
Oh, 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 that's better. That's better. I'm taking a snapshot every time we get a good position. Oh, hang on. There's an energy restore there. Taking that. Let's go! Okay. Right, energy restore. Where did I come from? We just need to move right here. We've got a long freaking way to go, but hey, we're good. We're good. Oh! Oh! No, no, thanks. It's all right, I've got it, I've got it. Go. Oh, there's the door, but because we got the axe. You could open the door. That's cool. Right, open the door. And we want to go up these stone steps and up the red bit above. <laughs> the hand can't get me there. Uh, Fenrir, cool. Been quiet in the chat there. We're still back. Cool, cool, cool. Um, especially when the first one's hardly a cakewalk to begin with. You never know what might crop up on Halloween. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, whip sound effects. <clears throat> I don't know why they decided to make such a hard sequel. And I got some claps from Will. Thank you. Thank you for the GG's man shovel. Uh, Brian says, well, sorry, was lurking. Finish your tax returns, rock and roll. Oh, they're always fun, aren't they, Bri? Back room. Really in my persistence with this Zypho. Thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I think what we'll do... Yeah. Maybe we'll get to the shield and take a break. I don't know. <coughs> hmm. Uh, Zypho clapping for himself. Oh. Ah. I don't know. I don't know. If no one's going to clap for me, I'll clap for myself. Super cauldron after this. No, none of your beers. No. I'm, I'm, I'm all cauldroned out. Yeah, I think I ought to take a break, actually. My vision's gone a bit wonky. Right. First one was easy compared to this, and the first one is sudden evil. I think I'm starting to prefer this one to cauldron one, if I'm beginning if i'm actually honest with you from the cauldron one is because it's single screen platforming the game <coughs> at least a cauldron two the cauldron one you move off a screen unless you know exactly what's on the uh, next screen you could be plummeting to instant death because the platform is missing like move off the edge of the screen and then suddenly there's no platform there and you don't instantly die at least there's none of that in cauldron 2 at least there's none of that in cauldron 2 but i think because of that i think i prefer cauldron 2 now if i'm honest <laughs> i feel like i should hate all cauldron games because of zypho no you make your own mind up <laughs> you're a, you're your own person andrea and you're no longer the witch and um, We've got the Am's Witch. There you go. She's like Lord Sugar. <laughs> the first one was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, instead of bouncing, at least we could fly. It was smooth gameplay. Well, that's true. But, Will, it's the dungeons where you do the platforming bits, Will, in Cauldron, where it lets it down. The flying bit was fine. Maybe if you're just flying all the time, shooting stuff, Cauldron could have been actually quite good. Uh, Retrolim, thank you for squashing the sex bot there. <laughs> thank you. But long is back from his favourite website. Oh god! Oh god! I better not talk about that. Thank you, thank you, Smoothie. Um, 
Anna clapped her ass cheeks. <laughs> you mean you trumped, Anna? Um, Tactical Pirate Daz. Welcome for Pirate Daz. Yes. I'm a bouncing pumpkin for the night. Cauldron 2. Welcome, P. Dazzy. How you doing, mate? Welcome, Pirate Daz. How you doing, sir? How's your, how's your sailing been on the high seas? Yeah, mod, unless you've mapped out Cauldron 1, how do you know what's on the next screen? It could be instant death. That's the problem with Cauldron 1. Unless you've got a map to look at, you're, you're, su you're stuck. Or should I take a break? Should I just push on a little bit further? My, eye, my eyes are going a bit wobbly, boys and girls. I think I ought to take a break. I mean a bit. Oh, ow, come on. I'm wasting it. I'm wasting. Um... Yeah. yeah, I think I ought to. I think I ought to take a quick break here, boys and girls. I think my vision's getting a bit wobbly. I'm not at a break tonight. It's getting quite late. So I'm going to take a, a little short break. Uh, so we don't get any ocular migraines coming on. That would like end the stream pretty much anyway, given it's like time sticking on tonight. So I'll leave you guys just to talk amongst yourselves just for a little bit. Uh, oh, hang on. Before I do, Fenrir says, got to admit, there's a lot of preach back cold to you, if I'm being honest. It looks good. That is true. It sounds good. Yes, it could do with music in game. Um, but uh, it's plenty to explore. I mean, the, the map is massive. Yes. And I can see what they're trying to do. It's just brutally bloody hard. Yes, exactly. I mean, they are brave with this control stream, uh, control scheme. They are bloody brave doing that. Yeah. But as Anna says, if you listen closely, you can hear Zypho's soul leak. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. I'm going to take a short break, guys. This is my first break of the night. And it's like uh, four to one. So... We should, be back with, we should be back with more Cauldron, too, shortly. Um, I'll leave you guys, boys and girls to talk in the chat. What horror films were you, are you going to be watching on Halloween? Um, that is the question. The second question is, what is your favourite horror films? What are your top three horror films of all time? What would you recommend to watch on Halloween? That's your um, topic of conversation while I just nip to the loo and give my eyes a rest just for a minute or two. Okay, boys and girls? I shall be right back in like two minutes, okay, guys? Just give my eyes a rest, okay? All right, and I'll be right back with you for some more high Halloween hijinks and stuff. And we'll get some more game requests before the end of the stream as well, hopefully. All right, guys, be right back. Back in two minutes.
All right, guys and girls, thank you for sticking with us. Cool. Still over 60 people watching on the stream. That's really good. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, let's see. How many people have uh, we got likes tonight and stuff? 66 likes on the stream. Thank you, everyone, for giving us a like and a thumbs up. If anyone else has give us a like and a thumbs up, I'd very, very much appreciate it. Thank you, boys and girls, those of you that have. Let's see what the chat... What's the chat been saying? Oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. <laughs> <coughs> we do talk amongst ourselves. Don't you ever read chats? Yes, I know, I know. It's hard picking out. It's hard picking out what people talking to me and talking amongst themselves sometimes. Um, um, right. Um, right. Uh, what is your most scary games on Amstrad? The scariest Amstrad game? I'd say Orion Prime it was like the scariest, creepiest atmosphere. That was a homebrew game, though. They set on an abandoned space station um, because of the eerie, creepy atmosphere created by the music and stuff like that. And there's monsters lurking around the space station. You don't know when they're going to creep up on you. That's That's got a good atmosphere to it. Um, and Roland and the Rope scared me the most, but I was really young at the time. And when they, when they I've told this story a million times anyway. But when the skeletons first appeared, when I got to that late level... I was so scared I had to switch off the Amstrad when I was about six years old. <laughs> um, anyone else want to venture the most scary Amstrad game? <laughs> um, your money is on OSG winning the Tubers World Cup again. <laughs> um, probably. Or Juffa. Or Maud. I reckon Maud will win it. Uh, Jack Thursby. Welcome, Jack. This is, has anyone seen Night of the Creeps? I think I have. I think I've seen that one. Let me just put it on IMDb. Make sure I'm thinking of the right movie. Night of the Creeps. I think I have seen that one. Oh, I better not show too much of the trailer. Oh, I think I have seen that one, Jack. Oh, that rings a bell. And Tom Atkins is in it as well. Now, if I'm an experiment, crashes the weapon and affects a fraternity member. They freeze the body a bit in one night. They take and throw the corpse. They infect the campus of parasites that transform the host into a zombie. I think I've seen that. Oh, it's a Fred Decker movie. Yeah, I think I've seen that one. That's a good film. I can't remember much of it. But yeah, that's that's a good one. I think that's a good one. I think that's a good one. Thank you. Yes, yes. Welcome, Jack. That's a good one. <laughs> um... Dead Snow 1 and 2, they're good fun Halloween films. Yes! Yes. Yeah, they're pretty mad, Anna. That's a good one. Hey, Aaron Phillips, welcome. Welcome. How you doing, Aaron? Most of us fell asleep waiting for you to come back. Did they, Antaeus? I hope not. I hope not. Jack Firthby says 67. Oh, there's 67 likes in the stream now. Oh, thank you, boys and girls. That's really kind. Is this 69 now? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I oh, appreciate that. Appreciate that. American Werewolf in London. Oh. You reckon the Edelon is the scariest? Ah, I don't find it that scary. Oh, Alien. The, the Alien, the FBS one is pretty scary. Yeah, that's a good shout, Anna. That's a good shout. Sultan's Maze, Aaron. Good one, Aaron. Yeah. Um... Uh, Fenris says, I remember getting Rob Pike's uh, horror compilation on the Amstrad as a kid with Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman. Earliest games ever to get a BBFC certificate, I believe. Yes! They got 15 and 18 rated certificates on them. Mostly because of the some still screens of, like, grisly scenes. Yes. Fucking full up. Um, one of them. 
Um, see if I can find a screen grab from one of it. Ah, oh. damn. Super C Power doesn't have many good screen grabs, sadly. Frankenstein. Let's see. Ah, oh, there's not many good screen screen grabs. Yeah, there's not many good screen grabs, unfortunately. Um, the one Fenrir is talking about is this one. Like Dracula got a, like one of the only games to get a 15 certificate. Like uh, as a this is actual computer gaming, and he got a 15 certificate. Um, mostly because he had grisly um, pictures in it. Oh, actually, there's one. There's one. There's a head on a spike there. Can you see that? Uh, you open image in new tab. There you go. Like stuff like that. There you go. A decapitated head on a spike with blood dripping from it. That earned it a 15 certificate. There were other games that got um, 18 certificates. Frankenstein. Um, did that get 18? 15. Oh, you can see there's a decapitated head on the back of the box there. Lovely. Did that get any other... No. No. Oh well. Okay. Well, there you go. That's what uh, that's what we were talking about a minute ago. Anyway. <laughs> Isn't Toki out today? Technically, we just turned to the 29th, so apparently, Toki should be out today. Um, in the UK, in the UK time now. Anyway, apparently, it's either today or tomorrow. We'll see if they actually get it out. I don't know. So we'll see, Matt Myers. How you doing, Matt? Um, Stifo in, Zypho in Star Trek Uhura cosplay. What? Well, what? I want oh, because the GP said I want Zypho to do a Star Trek stream and cosplay as Riker, Riker with a sexy beard. <laughs> what? We'll see. We'll see, GP. Tazong, hello, Tazong. Nightbreed got a scary vibe. Not bad, not bad. More of an action game, in it? Beating up monsters. Movie was awesome, though. Movie was awesome. Aliens is tense and scary. It's Magic Knight, yes, yes. History of Arkham Manor and La Shows de Gothenburg creep me out. Were they text adventures, Will? Um, there you go. Right. Uh, Pirate Dad says, not Amsha, but I remember jumping out of my skin the first time I saw the creatures jump out the jars and splatter house to a mega drive. Actually dropped the pad. I know which level you mean, Pirate Daz. That's the only mega drive long play I've got on my uh, YouTube channel, actually. I managed to um, crack that on um, uh, without using a, using a continue for the tubers, tubers um, high score challenge thingy. Chiefy, hello Chiefy, how you doing Chiefy89, welcome my friend, welcome. Anyone seen the stuff? Yes, I've seen the stuff, I've got the uh, VHS of that somewhere actually. And Friday the 13th on the Amsterdam used to freak me out as a kid. We were playing that just before this game, Cauldron 2 actually, Jack. Right, let's crack on with Cauldron 2 then. I think we need to crack on and get it done because it's getting late. And we got a lot, of, a long way to go in it, I think. Right, I need to get these steps. We need to. Ah, oh, try that again. No! 
going to waste a lot of magic there just to get the bounce right. All right, there is some magic there. Question is, do we go for the magic restore? Actually, possibly. Yeah, we do. We have to go right. Let's take let's take a snappy here. Hits. Okay, that's good. Now we need to go up these steps. Okay, up. It's... I think we can do that better, slightly better. Just like bring it down, bring it down, jump. Oh, you missed that. Oh, hello, hello, Chiefy. How you doing, my friend? Sorry, Mister uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, oh, that's this is good. Well done, well done, Zai. Okay, let's take a snappy here. I got that. We've got to get past this freaking skeleton. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Let me catch up the chat there. Uh, I'm going to move from upstairs down to the dungeon. I'll be right back. No worries, Sigur Bjorn. We'll catch you back in your dungeon in a bit. Movie says, right, that's it. I'm sending you the ending tomorrow, Zypho. What? The ending? Well, for this, we'll get it. We'll get it, Smoothie. We'll get it. Are you talking about the ending to this? Right. Um, I love this game as a kid. I also sucked at it. I, I hated this game. I hate this game, Jack. But I'm starting to maybe like it a bit. Demanta! Damned! Hello, Demanta! Long time no see. How have you been keeping? Welcome, welcome. Uh, what is the best emulator for Amsterdam when you are with Windows 10? Um... WinApe is probably the the oldest but best all round workhorse. I would say probably the easiest to get into and just get working and going with it. CPCEC, so CPCEC is kind of like the better emulator and the most um, accurate at the moment, and is the one that's most currently the most. Um, regularly updated one um but it's kind of not quite up there with the range of options and features that winape has but it's currently the most kind of like updated one and most accurate one but winape has more options and features and stuff if you know what i mean but cpc ec is rapidly overtaking winape as the better emulator but like as a newbie you might find winape is easier to get on with you know what i mean but cpc ec is more accurate and there's retro virtual machine which is really excellent it's a beautiful interface it's called rvm or retro virtual machine but you maybe some people are put off by it's kind of like 
overly graphical interface so there you go three emulators to look at retro virtual machine has a really cool like graphical interface thing um don't prefer retro virtual machine like lord respergu in the chat there hello lord respergu how you doing oh god can i not uh-oh uh-oh we're gonna have trouble getting over this skelet bob aren't we and retro virtual machine has like really oh retro virtual machine has really cool like crt filters and things to, like uh, enhance the sound and other stuff yay hang on we're through let's take a safe point there Okay, there's another skeleton coming up. We need to get actually put it up on there. Wait here. That's good. Oh. Well done. Well freaking done. Well done taking a save there. Gotta knock out the can the fire on the car candles. What we're gonna do then is do a little. Sorry about that. <laughs> the strange noise I made there. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Nice health restore there. Second pause there. Right. Oh, we're getting near the book. I'm oh, sorry, the shield. The shield. Let me show you where we are so people get a grasp of how far we are up in the game. Okay. Uh, let me just move over to the browse cap. The boys and girls. Um, where we started after getting the scissors. We got the scissors. We have now moved. Where were we? There. And we went me. And then me. Hang on. I scrolled it up. Horrible bit there. And I think we are here. We have made it all the way up to here after all that time so we're nearly on the shield that's how far we've just made it now oh hang on let's move my, move my head we're, we're gonna get in the shield and then we've got to make it all the way up here to the witch and then we get the book and then we can just drop all the way down here all, all outside the castle Right, if we just drop off this bit actually what we're going to do once we get the book we fall out this bit here and just let it go bing 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 here and we fall off the edge here it will actually kill us and actually respawn us at the forest and then we just bounce 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 drop da 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 finish the game job done hopefully so i think we it's going to take us about another half an hour i think 
if we just crack on. So we've got a bit to go. Pirate Daz off. Good night, Pirate Daz. Or P Dazzy. <laughs> Happy sailing in the high seas, mates. Good luck on your pirating adventures. Take care, mate. Good night. Good night. Uh, motor sounds than uh, uh, eight, most 8 bit games. Huh. Uh, odd how this game never felt big. Oh, as says, completed Halloween 2028. We'll see. We'll see. I'll do it. I'm not going to give up. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh! All right. Re reload. I think we, we do have to drop down to come back up. Like that. Okay, so ah, right, is it the BA? No. jumps there. Yeah. Arse. Just so my just on my team as World Cup run. If Cosmic Colin beats me, he deserves it. <laughs> okay. What's Cosmic Colin like? Is he a good competitor? Man. Ah. One. Oh! A food site. It's apparently worse than Lucas. <laughs> Expected Ray Charles to tear off. Oh, Lucas, shots fired. How do you respond to that from your supposed mate? Right, I'm going to see if that's the right bit to jump. I mean, how anyone's supposed to do this without snapshots anyway? Game. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, I'll take I'll take the damage. I don't care. Good. We lost a, quite a bit of damage there, but screw it. Oh, we could get some health back actually. Uh, it's nearby. Actually, no. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. I can take a snappy here. Take a snappy. We did well. Ish. The shield is just to our left. Right, save that. Oh, sod off. No way. How the fuck do you get to it? Right. The item we want is just to the left there. Oh, 
Do I take the loss of life or just carry on? You know what? I've lost one life. Well, we got the item. Do we just carry on? You know what? I am. Screw it. We got the item. Let's let's just let's just take let's take the L. Carry on. Yeah, I, I think I agree, Anna. When it, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think we could take one loss of life there. Screw it. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Take the L there and move on. Right, we need to go up here. Up here if we can. No. Ah. Uh. I'm pushing right. Bounce right, you you pumpkin arsehole. I'm pushing. Oh. oh, hang on. I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place, so. Ha <laughs> Doesn't matter. I was in the wrong place. It's actually here we're going. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Right, okay. Right, this is where it gets really tough. Really tough, because we've just got, I can't make a single mistake. So every platform, I think I'm just gonna have to snapshot it. <laughs> Probably like a certain YouTuber did. Anyway, yeah, don't discrim against, discriminate against my mates who've been terrible at gaming. Oh, you are such a good friend. You're a good friend. Is that what they mean when they say blind run? <laughs> <laughs> what have I missed? Um, just pump bouncing pumpkin shenanigans, really, and discussions of horror movies. Um, lots of pumpkins left to sneaky mode. Yeah, what's this game even beatable back then? Did anyone beat this back in the day? Honestly, I I freaking doubt it. Right, where am I going next? I think. <gasps> Scary spider. That's not going to reach, is it? Ooh. He's too far. He's, the pumpkin's too far to the right. Can I bounce a little bit to the left? Here's the thing. Save. Oh, that'd be all right. That's all right. That's okay. Okay, here we go. Right, the spider is instant death. Oh! Go! Oh, no, he went...
I was stuck. Fart sakes. Right, that bloody thing. No, it's not going to reach. You've got to be on the right edge of that platform. So we need to... Try again. See how infuriating this game is. Oh, screw you. Oh, 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 we've done it. No! Should we take the, I think we'll take the loss of life there. Come on. No, no, no. Come off it. I hate this game. A blue reload snapshot 55. Okay. Snapshot number 55 this is, by the way, boys and girls. FC Den Haag, how you doing, man? No, it's put me back in the middle of the farting platform, and we don't want to be in the middle of the platform here. How on earth do we freaking do this? I nearly had it. I nearly had it. That's it, like give in to the hate of Cauldron 2. Uh, getting quite good at this. I'm getting into the bouncing mechanics. I've got used to the bouncing mechanics. I think what happened there was, I'll show you. I got there and I got into the right position. And if I'd managed to jump as the spider was coming down, I would have got over. But I, for some reason, the, his, the, if I, I, I stayed in the same position, then the spider came down. If I hadn't stayed in the same position for too long, the hit detection detected I was there and it killed me. I think if I'd land, if I jumped. And then jumped across. I would have probably have done it. Uh, and then I would have been okay. Nice demonstration. But instead I jumped probably twice. And then the spider came down. And it detected as a hit. I might have I might have done it. Instead I'm back here. Bouncing here like a twat. Right. You had a good Halloween party. Cool man. Good for you, FC. I think you posted some pictures in the Discord, I hear. I haven't looked at them yet. Glad you had a good night. Oh. 
Let's see if it respawns me anywhere good. Right, it just spawns you on the edge of this. And you can't push right, boys and girls. And look, you're stuck on the edge there again. Oh. No, 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 no. Middle that. Let's go! Let's freaking go! We've finally done it! God, I hurt my throat do doing that. I think I've got a cold coming on. <laughs> Another freaking spider there. Daisy just coming in. Spiders are instant death in the game. I think we've got to jump over this spider. Yes! Yes! Uh, yeah, we've got to over that oh Lord Resburgo Lord Resburgo with the uh, 149 through the super chats I'll give I'll be I'll be a bouncing pumpkin for you, Lord Rasburgu. Thank you, Lord Rasburgu. Boing, 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 boing. Thank you, Lord Rasburgu, for the 149 exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for Lord Rasburgu. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Rasburgu. How are you doing, my friend? Was that for beating the spider at last? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Respergu. <laughs> Most dedicated man on YouTube. I like to, yeah. Why not? I'll take that title. I'll take that title. Thank you. <laughs> Will. My ears. Sorry, sorry, Anna. Was I a bit loud there? I probably won't. Oh, yeah, I've got to be careful not to wake up baby Minnie's eye. I got the shield. I've still got to uh, cut the um, hair off the uh, witch. I've got to get the book. And then uh, we've got to get down to the cauldron. There's some horrible sections coming up. We're close to the end. We are close to the end. Do you want to see, Matt? I'll show you. I'll show you. Thank you again, Lord Rasburgu. Thank you, my friend. All right. Okay. Okay. So we are. Hang on, you can't see my mouse cursor. Right, we are here. Okay, and we need we need to get here. Got the witch's witch's hair, and then we go up here for the book, and then we escape out here and go. Wee! Hang on, let me go. Escape out here and go. Wee! Land here. And then we can actually just suicide ourselves off the edge of this gargoyle. And the game will spawn us down up the woods. Down here. 
and we can just bounce away down here and then here for the cauldron the end of the game the game is completed and won there you go we're actually fairly close to the end of the game they're relatively close so we're just here get to the sleeping witch up these horrible bits here i think we could do it before two all right there we go all right Reckon anyone finishes back in the day i don't think so i don't think so if they were mad if they did mad it always looks it looks easy from the map exactly exactly let me just take a save i don't know if i did that one there or not pick me oh oh I like how the witches laugh at you when you die. That's a nice touch from the uh, coder. Yeah, we screwed that up. Oh, how do we need a very specific jump here? Oh, that's it. <laughs> That's not it. Ass. Oh, nearly had it. That's it with that. <clears throat> Nintendo. Whoa. For the four forty nine for the super chat. Oh, thank you, Nintendo. I'm a very happy bouncing pumpkin now for you. Thank you, Nintendo. Whoa, thank you, Nintendo. Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for Nintendo there. Thank you, Nintendo. For your uh, four Australian, four forty nine Australian, is that Australian dollars there? Exclamation mark pumpkins. Let the pumpkins rain down for our <laughs> Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo. Never give up. I'm trying. I won't. I won't. We'll get there. We'll get there. Thank you, Nintendo. Um, you can't drop down that last hole. You reckon, Red Retro Lim? Why do you say that? Uh, that's GP trying to get. Uh, uh that's GP trying to get Zypho. He's dedicated. Huh? <laughs> right. Oh, there's a bat going to be homing in on us. Oh. Blow that up again. We can do this better. Come on, Zai. Don't lose that magic. Life has sounded feared then. Kind of common in these streets. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. This is bad. Right. Uh, We need to be on that little chimney thing. Be on that. Okay, big and then bounce. Okay, right. 31% energy. This is bad. 
So we're in the right place. Now we need, somehow need to get across here. Start going up this tower. Without the... No! Oh, oh, oh. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Not that grey spider killing us, but I don't care. We did it. Right, good. Take a save. Take a save. Um, Left. Yeah, yeah, left here. Ten percent magic. Go. Just save 66. Right, we're going to die very, very soon. There's the witch! There's the witch! How the hell do I get in this room? I've got 6% magic left, and I can't seem to... Oh, okay, we've done it. Ah! Sakes. Right, okay. 5% magic left. Take a bit of a snappy here. Oh, 4%. Right, hang on. There's magic over there as well, which is annoying me. This looks like you bet you're like thinking, what is Al doing here? I, I, I... Looks simpler than it is. No! Stop shooting magic! How do I get. Uh, you want to get some South African viewers on here, Zypho, dishing out the Krugerrand? This isn't Lethal Weapon 2. Please, can you just get over this? I've got 4% energy. Come on. Oh. I'm going to spoke my magic here. No, no, don't save it. Don't save it. Yes! All right. We're good. We're good. Oh! Sorry. Right. I know how to do it. Equal weapon to Patsy Ken's it. <laughs> Shame she couldn't act for the toffee. Right, okay. Oh. Push left, 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 left. He won't go left. He won't go left. He's on the edge. Go 
there. Ready? Right, save. Let it save here and then go. No. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Save. 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 No, no, no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go back the other way. Right, this is where we cut the hair of the witch. Do you hear her sleeping? Oh! Her magic. That's her magic, and the magic kills me. Oh! Oh! I thought that was like magic that would restore our health. Oh! That's unfair. It's a trick. It's an axe. Trick. Get an axe. Oh. Right. Right, hang on. Damn it. Try that again. See if we can survive. I doubt we will. Alright, let's take a save there. Right, save snapshot number 70. We're on snapshot some number 70. Shave her pubes! <laughs> Good lord. Arnie the Viking! How you doing, Arnie? <laughs> Welcome, Arnie. Stop spunking, spunking pumpkin, says Anna. <laughs> There's a nice bowl of fruit there. OSG says, so my wife has fallen asleep and Naked Traction has come on TV. And guess what? My luck is... Guess what? Just my luck. It's a gay man on, so penis all over. <laughs> Unlucky, OSG. Unlucky. Arnie says, evening, everyone. Uh, at least I think so. I take a look at Zypho. Seems to have caught col uh, Cauldron 19. He says all orange and seems to have come off. Unfortunately, Arnie, tonight I am I, I am a decapitated uh, bouncing pumpkin head. Yes, I'm the bouncing pumpkin. How you doing, Arnie? Anyway, I shall bounce back to my uh, position over here. Welcome, Arnie. How you doing, my friend? Um, a hole is a hole, OSG. There's retro on them. Without the crown, her magic would have homed in on you, says Retro Puss. Really? That's what the crown does. Oh. Oh. Nothing wrong with a green bush. Really? Looking from experience, uh, retro on them. Is Zypho's foreskin furry? Good grief, GP. I'm not... Oh, hang on. I'm not saying if I'm circumcised or not. And if it's furry or not. You'll have to subscribe to my Only Furries page. It's freezing up here, but I think you have the, I, I have the bigger problem. Oh no, I'm stuck down here again. Oh, screw that. Hang on. Ah, oh, I'm wasting magic. I think I should just take the L here and lose a life, probably. I'm stuck on the boulder fruit. Arrgh. Right, that's good. Take a take a save there. Yep, 
Yes. Right, we need to get up to that red little red platform there. Joking. What? Are you kidding? That's not high in. That's not. Oh. Right, save. Take a save here. Right, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Take a save, take a save quickly. Quickly. We are getting into the main tower here. Here we go. Oh, we died. Who cares? Carry on, carry on. Oh, that's a terrible start. Terrible. Let's just freaking go. Oh! No! Let's try that again. There was health there. Oh, well. Uncle Ron! Good to see you, Uncle Ron. How you doing, my friend? Roll jump. I don't think you can ever... I don't think you can get to that. No, you can't get to that, can you? Bouncing is still a nightmare. I think that 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 is trolling you. There's no way you can get to that. Stop! 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 Let it, small bounce. Small bounce. Left one. Okay. No! Did I push left again? I did not. Stupid freaking game. I said freaking, not the other one. I didn't swear, I nearly did. I know, I, I'm questioning why as well, FC. Okay, I gotta go to bed too, too much. What? Too much what for your liking? Hey, why is my magic at. Uh, OSG. Good night, OSG. Take care, mate. I'm looking forward to watching your uh, Amstrad video tomorrow, dude. Sure, it's a banger. Can't wait, mate. Oh, you son of a... Right, take a save, take it a save there. Uh, right, uh, error on my part there. Uh, save. Right, cool. Um, take care, OSG. Have a great weekend, mate. All the best to you and your family and all that kind of stuff, mate. Have a good one, and we'll see you soon, dude. Um, Uncle Ron, this is um, Cauldron 2. The Bouncing Pumpkins. Boing, boing, boing. That's why I'm a Bouncing Pumpkin head tonight. You see? You see? How you doing, Uncle Ron? How you been, mate? Um, 
And knack at the three-year-old and the eleven-week-year-old. Good stuff. Good stuff. I hope they're tucked up and fast asleep, mate. Uh, Fenris has made the most because <laughs> I got the feeling this is the last time Zaife will ever play this game on stream. Exactly. Exactly. Make the most of it. Make the most of it. Have you played the game Ghouls tonight? I have not. It was on the request list for tonight, but I fear this is going to take up the rest of the blooming stream. God. GP says, nice birds you pulled, FC Den Haag, but not as attractive as Zypho, but okay. <laughs> Be sure to read the first bit. No one has noticed yet, but I don't think. The first bit, what, on your video? Or, or is it in the video or in the description? And more this through to the bitter end if I can make it. We are so close. But I'll tell you where we are. I'll tell you where we are, boys and girls. Let me show you. Hang on. We are. We're here. We're here. Ah, oh, we gotta go. Ba, 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 ba. Get the book. That is the last item. And then we're escaping out the bottom here. And we just let it. Let we drop. We just drop. Hang on. And we drop to here. And then we like kill ourselves here. And then the game spawns us down at the forest. And then we just go ding. Ding, ding, game done. All right, that's it. That's it. If we can, if we can. Right, okay. Better crack back on. In theory, in theory. Yeah, in the video. Okay, mate. Okay, mate. I'm gonna look out for that. I will. I'll watch carefully. I'll probably uh, watch while having me dinner tomorrow. Uh, din like lunchtime pizza tomorrow. Right. Okay, we're in the wrong position. We need to be right on the edge. All right, do it. This is good. Let's take a save. What? Are you telling me that? Yeah. Oh, screw you. Take a save. Take, take a save. But right, how do we get this? Oh! Take a save. Another save. Don't care. Save state in this piece of trash. Save state again. Woo! Save it. Now, let it calm down, calm down, calm down. Just go here. Good. Okay. No. No, we need to go a little bit to the right here. I don't think... I think we're going to fall off the edge if we do... Yes. But I would. So what we'll do is we'll move left. Oh, God. Look at the screen. Like... Oh, it keeps going off, off and on the top of the screen there. Ugh. That's the problem with, like, flick screen games. Might be enough just uh Oh. All right, we'll take a save there. Oh, man. Okay. 
Okay. Like good progress there. Go. But I hate this flick screen. Flick screen's horrible on the eyes. The one credit went. Never. Never. Uh, uh, I don't know if this one's going to work here. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting closer and closer to the top of the tower. And um, we'll have to take the L there. Oh, it spawned us at the bottom. Oh, you Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Really? How... How in the hell am I meant to do this bit? Where the hell am I supposed to jump from here? I think we need to go right to the, almost to the edge or something. So close now. So close I can smell it, Jack. Oh, is Brian off? Oh, Brian O'Higgins! Thank you, Brian! I think we need to be right on the edge some of this platform, and I can't get there at the moment. There. Take a snappy quick. Take care, Brian. Have a great weekend, Brian. See you soon, mate. Night, night. Night, night, Brian. Oh. It's going to respawn. Oh, you mother. Oh. But we're just going to have to take the L there and lost a life. Ay, 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 ay. I I don't know on this one. I'm just have to keep experimenting, I think. I don't know. Let's just keep going and mess it mucking about until something works. Art knows. I have no idea. It's like, it's like you've got to somehow bounce at this point here where it will bounce you like, like there and it will bounce you there. That will then bounce you up here. It's like the angle of that is ridiculous. By the way, the book is just there. It's like, it's, this is like the last jump to make. And that this, this, this enemy is the last enemy before the book. This is the last enemy before the item. But the book is right there. Right there. Oh. 
this is like the last enemy for the book. Oh, I Antaeus. Good night, Antaeus. Take care, my friend. You're just missing out on the last bit, but never mind. Take care, Antaeus. Have a nice weekend, my friend. Good night, my friend. Moore says, I don't think I could handle this. Me neither. I, 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 this is breaking me. The medium jump won't take you to... The medium jump won't take you high enough. I think you want to be about here. It's somewhere here. We want to do the, the high jump. Zypho, the pumpkin has to align up. I like that puppy, puppy on the speedboat. It was bigger than Zypho. What puppy on the speedboat? Oh, uh, FC Den Hogs. You know about. Trying to get lined up and he just can't. Oh, 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 that's not bad. That's uh, in there, my energy's like freaking low. I don't care. I'm about to lose a life because I've got 90%, 10% uh, magic. Ah! Don't spawn me back down there. You! Right, take another snapshot. I've got zero percent magic. <laughs> yes, I got the book. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Save it. Save this very quickly. Ladies and gentlemen and gentlemen, we now have all the items. We now have all the items. Let's go. Let's go bouncing. Yay. Oh, let's have some confetti. We have all the items. Hurrah. Let's set off the fireworks. Let's have a dancing Lord Sugar. <laughs> Yes, GG's. We have all the items to kill the witch. Buying, 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 buying. We have all the items in Cauldron 2. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Wishy. I'm coming for you. <laughs> All right, we could go kill the witch now. Do we go carve ourselves a witch up? <laughs> All right, okay. All right, no, enough of the silliness. Enough of the silliness. Right, okay. Right. Okay, I know where we're going now. Okay. Right, FC Denhog's very drunk. <laughs> Sorry, FC, it's probably not helping your drunken state. Bang for the most frustrating bit before the end. Oh, yeah. We've got some frustrating bits still to come up. Right. 
Right, we died. We dead. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We've got two pumpkins left. So that thing there, that scuttly thing. That, watch out for our... Be annoying, it's gonna fall into me. Damn! Go left here. Save here, save here. Good. Oh, Part of reload. Part of reload. Take the save. Take the save. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Okay. Let's get my map ready. Here we go. Right. Okay. 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 Save. Sorry about that. I'm... That we'll get that health. So we don't really need it because we're gonna kill ourselves in uh, kill ourselves in just a second, essentially. Oh, for goodness' sake! I just want to drop down the hole. Ah. Okay. Uh. Oh, right. Go. Right, go right here. Okay, no worries here. So what we need to do is get on the right of this uh the the, the, the gargoyle with the thing there and he should like basically land that you flip on it is gonna like throw you into the abyss and basically kill you and he should respawn respawn in the forest. Okay. Thank you everyone for the GG's there as well. Uh previous to that. So thank you. He's a hero we need, but the hero we deserve. Thank you, Will. Did you put your head on dancing Alan's body? I've not tried that. I've not tried. I didn't try that. Uh, I'm trying. He's a bit wiggly jiggly for me. Is that a bit too surreal for everyone? I tried, I tried, I tried. <laughs> I tried, Jack. Uh, right, okay. Hey, terrible coffin. Good night, terrible coffin. Oh, you're going to miss the end of... Uh, you're going to miss the end of Cauldron 2. Hey, no worries, my friend. Take care, have a good weekend. Right, we'll get on the podium here. Ready? Should respawn us in the forest. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, hang on. Okay. Let's take a... Okay.
Okay. Okay. You did lose a life too. Did I not? Right. I made some, I made some notes here. Right. Your pumpkin needs to be... If I can just pause it at the right bit. Your pumpkin needs to be somewhere slightly to the left. Otherwise, it won't... It needs, it needs to be jumping. Otherwise, uh, it won't bounce to the right bit. Odie, we're right at the very end. Just, just pointing it out if you're off to bed. The ending is right below. Good night, Odie. Good night, Odie. Uh, retro lenses don't drop. All right, we'll see. Anyway, we'll give it a try. Odie, right, right at the very, 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 very end here. As we're snapshot number 99. I'll give it a try. Anyway. Okay, ready? Oh, I, oh I've, I've booed this up already. Actually. It might work. It's us! Yes! Well done! Val has completed Cauldron 2 with a score of 83,350. The witch is dead. Long live the witch. <laughs> yes! We have done it! I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Dancing Allens. Dancing Allens. I cannot believe it. We have done it. Oh my god. Oh. Lord Raspergu! <laughs> Lord Raspergu, thank you for the five dollars through the uh, super chat there. Lord Raspergu. Oh! The witch has donated three pounds as well. <laughs> Here's that from Sigurbjorn. I'm dead. Are you really? Is the witch really dead? Oh! <laughs> that was Sigurbjorn. Thank you, Sigurbjorn. Is the witch really dead, though? What was that? Cauldron shovel, man shovel. GG Zypho, you've broken the curse. Thank you. Have you. An awesome score. Why not press fire and try once more? No, <laughs> I'm not trying once more. Thank you very, very, very much, Man Shovel. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Man Shovel. I can't believe we've done it. Bounce it! Exclamation mark! Pumpkins in the chat. I'm one very happy. Oh, Lucas. Hang on. <laughs> Lucas, thank you for holy crap, Lucas for the four six four there as well. Bloody hell. Wow. Lucas, I am one happy bouncing pumpkin now. Wow. One happy bouncing pumpkin. Thank you. Thank you very, 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 very much, boys and girls. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. All right, I'll turn off the rain and lightning now. And we don't have to Betty. Holy crap. Thank you. Um, thank you, um, Raspergu. Um, 
Thank you, um, Nintendo. Um, thank you, um, what was, who was the witch? Sigurbjorn. Thank you, Man Shovel. Thank you, Lucas. Whoa! Oh, Nintendo! Oh, Nintendo! Thank you, oh, Nintendo! Thank you for rejoining on Patreon. Thank you, oh, Nintendo! Oh, hang on. <laughs> Nintendo, thank you for rejoining on Patreon, my friend. Thank you very, very, very much. Jolly Boy! Hang on, I'll go back to you, Nintendo. Jolly Boy, thank you for the three pounds. Hang on, that's not Jolly Boy. He's fallen asleep, ain't he? Cover me in chilli sauce, you did it. Just like to apologise to GP for that Codemasters cover. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I think Johnny Boyer passed out in his uh, Tesco Valley vodka and uh, kebab ante earlier. Um, nah, hang on, that's Pat McNoles. That's Pat McNoles. Thank, thank you, uh, thank you, GP. Okay, Pat McNoles there. <laughs> Explain pumpkins in the chat. <laughs> thank you, Pat McNoles, for the three pounds there. Thank you. Um, Johnny Boy, are you still with us, Johnny Boy? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Pat McNoles. Rintendo, thank you. Uh, says uh, my mem membership had lapsed. Yeah, no worries, my friend. No worries at all. You you dip in, dip in out whenever you want. I can give you your spanner of doom back as well. <laughs> You're now moderator of the channel. If you refresh your chat window, you now have the uh, spanner next to your name as well now. <laughs> thank you, Rintendo, and thank you for the dono there as well. Um, wow, guys, thank you so much. Uh, holy crap, what do we have to say about Cauldron 2? Spooning a mixed kebab pasta, <laughs> probably is, is our Johnny boy. I missed a lot of chat there. Um, I did miss a lot of chat there, so... Um, if anyone wants to repeat any comments I might have missed there. And, um... Oh! Oh! Maud! I think you already, you already were uh, in the damn squad. Oh, did you um up your Patreon or something? Maud! Thank you, Maud! Um, let me open... What's that? Oh, did you up your Patreon pledge? If so, thank you, Maud. Um, uh, Maud, Maud, thank you. I think you uh, you slightly increased your Patreon pledge. If so, thank you, thank you, Maud. Uh, thank you, Sneaky Maud. Um, any more spooky games on the way? I think we can like finish you for like one more. I tell you what, we'll finish on one more. Um, Oh, I tell you what, we'll finish on one more um, game. I think my view, my view, ca view count as well has got stuck. Um, sorry. Yeah, I was going to say over 60 people have got a 2.30 in the morning. Seems a bit unlikely. Um, did that a bit earlier, but yes. Oh, thank you, Maud. Sorry, sometimes the Patreon alerts take a while to come through. Can't believe we did Cauldron 2. We'll do one more scary, spooky game to finish off the stream. Just like a little like request, uh, just a little playthrough for five, ten minutes. Boys and girls, um, what game would you like to see as a horror game, horror theme game? Put your suggestions, or requests in the chat. I'll just pick the most interesting one. We'll fire it off, and then we'll finish the stream tonight. Play it again, but do it without the save states. Yeah, not a chance. Wow! Can't believe we did it. Okay. 99. How many save states that take? Hang on. Let me just see. Let me see. 99 save states. Say go, Coop. I'm going to ban you, GP. Oh. We did go some goblins earlier. Green Beret. That is a horror. I like Green Beret. 
I like green beret. <laughs> oh, thank you everyone for the uh, thumbs ups and likes on the streams. I really appreciate that. Cheers. If you haven't already, please give us a like and a thumbs up and all that. Thank you, boys and girls. Cheers. 74. Cheers. We do ghouls and ghosts. Um, Jack, if you want. We haven't played that. Equal. Um, it was epic. Thank you, Music Man. We are, why we hung around for this atrocity, I'll never know. Oh, God. And it's a technically a well-put-together game, Cauldron 2. Great graphics, great music, great sound effects. Massive game, well-structured and stuff, and technically very well-put-together. That jump mechanic is just horrible. It's just so frustrating. It's just not fun. Ends up not being fun at all. Sorry for your persistence and patience have flabber flabbered my gas tonight, mate. Respect. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Docky. Oh! We're going to dedicate a whole am stream to that next week, mate. Next week. <laughs> Music man. How about Roland for old times sake? I have done too much Roland on the road. I could do a bit of Roland on the ropes. Finish off the stream, but like I think I'm I'm gonna like better make everyone try to do run under the ropes a quick play. <laughs> Just to finish off. Surprise no one's uh, coming up with much requests. I can have a look one from the list for earlier. Oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on, what's going on? <laughs> Jay Z six 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 has donated <laughs> one pound. <laughs> I got ninety nine save states, but a witch ain't one. <laughs> Brilliant! Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat. That's got that is a hundred percent man shovel. Don't know. From Jay Z six six six, I got ninety nine save states, but a witch ain't one. Very clever, very clever man shovel. <laughs> Ready right the caves, Ghostbusters two. Oh, if I do Ghostbusters two, I'll end up playing it for ages. I think we're going to do a ghost. I tell you what, Nintendo, for you, I've been thinking about doing a Ghostbusters night. Um, we'll do a Ghostbusters night on the Am stream. Probably nearer Christmas, which won't be long, actually. Super fun. Killer. Oh, God. Uh, Sengoku. Anima. Uh, oh, I don't have, I don't have that to hand, Matt. I'm going to have to, mm, that's in the CPC Retro Dev stuff. I'm going to have to go digging for that. Oh, thank you. Someone's ordered a uh, uh, um, an Amstream uh, bag, I think. Whoever that is, thank you very, very much. That just popped up. Wales to London, Super Trolley, Sultan's Maze, Chiller. We could do some Chiller for Lucas. Sultan's Maze. <laughs> How to make a super, uh, spooky game at this time. Go on then, a little bit of Chiller then. I'm not bloody doing super bloody trolley. Oh dear, that didn't work at all. Ah, oh, because it loaded the wrong file. There might be a bad crack of the game. Time Man 1. No one else here would reference Jay Z. Thank you, Man Shovel. <laughs> Thank you for that. Ooh. By Richard and David Darling. They went on to do um, Code Masters, set up Code Masters. Rescue your girlfriend from the haunted house and return to your car. Maze is really scary. 
Was it really? Was it really? Alright, okay, here we go. Right, so we got a... Oh! Oops. What? Why is he not jumping? Oh, okay. It's up to jump. Right, so you gotta collect the flashing crosses. Ah, avoid the blue mushrooms. Oh no, I've fallen through. Oh, arse biscuits. Pink mushrooms are good. Blue mushrooms are bad. Quick. Got a green energy bar at the top there. Oh, arse. Oh no, I've, I've right, I've screwed this up big style now. Oh, for God's sakes. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill myself here. Oh, I've messed this up big style. This game is pants, I agree, CDJ. And it's also horrendously broken on the Amstrad. Uh, one of the later levels is co is completely broken and you can't get past it. Oh, what GP? GP's trying to have what? Ah, I missed the mushroom. Spin, spin, mate. Spin what? The bottle? Oh, do you mean spin on? Ah, it, it, it's still a. It's still, oh god. Stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here. There you go. That's the last cross there. Next game, mate. <laughs> Cinema now, for some reason, I'm gonna click crosses in the cinema. Uh oh. I think originally this game did actually feature the chiller music, hence the name of the game, and then they uh, got in trouble for that. So they had to strip all that out and all that. we get down from this? Get the last cross. Oh, uh, maybe the middle. Ah! Bart! There you go. This game is worse than the Leonard Cohen record. <laughs> Alright. Um, was that Nosferatu any good? It's a bit slow. It's one of those isometric games. Like, um... I don't know, head over heels, but it was very slow moving. But it was actually quite good. It was decent for what it was. There you go, that was that was chiller. Chiller. <laughs> um ooh.
Nightbreed? Uh, maybe, but it's just a bit like I'm gonna have to work it. I can't remember what to bloody do in it. Eh. Right, that was not. Uh, that was chiller. I've had enough of that. Yeah, I agree. Maybe time for one quick game. Um, let's see. What, what was on the request list from earlier? Yeah, we didn't have Elvira on the Amstrad. Um. Ooh. Oh, Anthony Doyle, are you still here? If Anthony Doyle was still here, he had a really good request of a game I've never played before. Of Deathsville. Was there a Gremlins game? There was, but it was a text adventure and it was a bit meh. Um, Red Heat, Sam Fox, that's scary, oh god. Uh, oh, oh, a bit tired. Gremlins 2 was a platformer. Yes, and there was there was Gremlins 2 as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um I can show you Nosferatu. There is a you won't get to see much of the game though, because it's slower and I'll just be plodding around not doing much. <laughs> I suppose. I could do um Sultan's Maze if you re people people really want Sultan's Maze. <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show. Maybe we can squeeze one more game in just before we finish. We haven't done a huge number of horror games tonight because Cauldron 2 bloody took up most of the sodding stream. <laughs> Jaws. There is a Jaws game. I think it's rubbish. I think it is rubbish. <laughs> I think it is rubbish. Have I got Jaws? I have got Jaws. We'll see what it's like. Is Jaws... T yeah, Jaws is a horror movie, isn't it? I, I remember. I think this is absolute garbage. Got the music there, I think. <laughs> uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. No, that didn't come to the Amstrad, sadly. Just notice Alan peering behind that Jason mask. <laughs> sort of referencing um, the Alice Cooper video for the Jason Voorhees uh, Man Behind the Mask video for um, uh, Friday the 13th Part 6. All right. And this is Jaws. Hang on, what are, oh yeah, what are we meant to be, oh god. Oops. What are we meant to be doing? Does anybody remember or know? You're in this diving bell something. So... Yeah. I don't know. What, what? What? I mean, what is... I mean, what is going on? Why don't you need a shark? Oh! Let's wait a long time before we get Jaws Unleashed on the Xbox. Oh, hang on! 
That's Jules, isn't it? We fi finally Jules appears. Can we do anything? Oh, he just gets a. All right. Is that it? That the previous. The sound effects are good. I think you're just meant to just go and like explore and get things. It's just it's just garbage really, isn't it? Yawn. Right, let's, let's tell you what. What's, what's the manual say for this? Bring my music down a touch. Jaws. Right. The get I on. <coughs> Brody, at the task of riding the waters of the island of Jaws. The island of Jaws? He has persuaded Queen to local fisherman and Huber and Anshan to assist him. Uh, Huber has also brought in a free highly qualified diver to help with equipment. For, unfortunately, the equipment and weapon required to kill Jaws were lost in a reef off the coast. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, which the transport uh, vehicle hit and sank. Brody's team of six has to first recover the four sections of the gun and the special bullets required to kill Jaws uh, from the horror infested caverns below the reef. This achieved one member of the party has to attempt to destroy Jaws using the deadly weapon because parts found in the. It's just like a bog standard in. in, flat, in, in Maze, maze game. Explore, find items from an underground cavern thing. Place in the air where George is prowling. He'll be limited to 80 seconds of air and four mega bullets. Each one of flash when it's ready for firing. Hit and uh, hit or miss. Hit the control panel. George will only be killed by you. You're hitting him three times before your air runs out or your close doors. Guns. Uh, you get a bit of a map there. All right. What a load of what a load of garbage. Yeah. What a load of garbage. So. Yeah. That's uh, all right. That's Jaws. Yeah. Let's move on from Jaws. All right. One more quick game. One more quick game of something. A bit quick and easy to play. Um, Cybernoid from Wish.com. <laughs> Jaws Island got one and a half stars from one, one, one out of five stars from TripAdvisor. Just like the movie AL game. Yeah, yeah. Deathstalker. Is that written uh, Halloween-y enough? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, could do that. I don't know. I got a Death Stalker. Go on then. Quickly then. We'll have a look at Death Stalker. Plus an arm and a leg to stay there for a week. The haunted, uh, Co-Master's Haunted House shoot him up. Oh, that's um, Ghost Hunters. Read instructions. One if you're outside London. Oh, I remember this. Press one if you're outside London. Go on then. Start at the beginning, finish at the end, and read the inlay. <laughs> Press 5 says for never use. 
Well then, should we press five? <laughs> it says never use again. So that everyone's tempted to press it again. We'll press five again. Oh, it says, just says never use again. We'll try it again. Try a few more times. No? Okay. Alright, we'll try start the quest then. Okay, joystick. Alright, we'll start the quest then. Nice music though. Nice. Does that mean take drop a use? Hey. Okay. Lovely music. Turn it up just a touch. Nice graphics. Where do we go? Right. Oh! Open bottle. Don't want to drop down there. Oh, I killed him. Did I not want to kill him? That a switch. Oops. Oh no, okay. Oh thank you, squash the bot there. Oh, I think I'm getting wrecked here. I think my, my health bar is... Oh, I think I opened a the door there. I love the music and atmosphere in this. Thanks for that mule some music. Not a little exit right there. It's like a portal, these things. They just keep coming and coming. Right. Who wants to play this one? Yeah, I think I want to maybe do a long play of this sometime, maybe. This is quite good for a Codemasters game, actually. I'm in a plate of food. I think we want to take this. We want to. Want to. Strength returns. Right. So it's kind of like a bit of an RPG element to this. There's a raven up there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And we're out again. Uh-oh, that really hurt me. That, that pit of death there probably is. 
Yellow Belly needs to make a Halloween game. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is where we start from. All right, I picked for release. All right, need a big spell. I presume that's where you, how you release captives. Oh, I died! Ah, oh, your quest is over. That's a cool game. I like that. Oh, that, that was Deathstalker. Yeah. It's like a very, very interesting game. From Co very different game for Code Masters. Tony Warriner. Very nice. Really nice music from David Whitaker. Quite different for his um, style, actually. Yeah, but really like that, really like that. Cool. Oh yeah, the instructions literally are start at the beginning, finish at the end, read the inlay. And the instructions are the same if you're, at, if you're outside in London. Alright, okay. Okay. Right, okay. Love in the Am stream. Are you streaming the game before Halloween? Hopefully, I should be streaming on Twitch on Monday. Yeah. In fact, boys and girls, I think I better call it for tonight. And I think we better go over to our outro. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, uh, to answer you there, Jack, I should be back, hopefully, should be streaming on Monday evening on uh, Twitch. Is Monday actually Halloween? I don't know, I think it is. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I should be doing something super, super spooky um, on uh, Twitch. Uh, I stream on Twitch, Jack, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays over on Twitch. Zyfo, find me on there, Zypho on Twitch, give us a follow on there. Um, that was fun. That was the Halloween am screen this year. Uh, ham, uh, Halloween am screen this year. Bloody hell. Cauldron 2 usurped most of it. But I finally vanquished my my nemesis of all these years. My most hated game. I can finally rest easy. It is done. It has been conquered. <laughs> right. Next year we'll have uh, we'll have a, a more plethora um, of uh, horror games. I promise. All right, and uh, of yes, we'll get more games, more more of a selection of games in next year on the next year's 2023 Halloween Am screen. And uh, but Cauldron 2 is finally done and dusted, and I can rest easy. No more bloody requests for it, probably. <laughs> Thank you ever, ever so much, everyone. I've had really good fun, uh, really good fun tonight. It was, it was nice being a decapitated pumpkin head, a change from being a uh, a ghostly zypho. <laughs> anyway, thank you very, very much, everyone. Cheers, LK. Thank you. Good night, Musa. Musa. Thank you, thank you, Musa. Thank you for your continued support as well. I'm much appreciated, my friend. Um. Yeah, uh, Lucas says you're a Sid Paula fan, but gotta say the uh, this AY chip is ace. It can be beautiful when put in the right hands, Lucas. Well, that can all computer sound chips. Yeah, yeah. But there you go. Uh, thank you, thank you, Lucas. GP, thank you, mate, as well. Thank you for your donos tonight as well. Uh, as always, it made me laugh and smile as you always do, GP. Thank you. Dig your Bjorn. Yes, Monday's Halloween. Yes. I don't know how I'm going to compete with everyone else doing Halloween streams and all that kind of stuff. I'll put my thinking hat on. 
Um, and maybe I'm finishing off a video for Halloween anyway for the YouTube channel. So watch out for that. Um, so uh, uh, thank you, Secure Bjorn, uh, for your dono as well tonight. Maud, thank you, Maud. Sneaky Maud, thank you for your support. And, uh, and also for missing your pledge. Thank you in the Am Squad. Much appreciated. Robin, Robin Hook. Cheers, mate. I know. Can't believe I've vanquished Cauldron too. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you, Robin. Matt Myers. Thank you, Matt. Little great streams, I fire. A little more cold and tea than I would have liked. I know. I know. But I, I, after all these years of putting it off, I'm done with cold and tea. It could be, it's done with. <laughs> um, but cheers, Matt. Thank you all for cheers again. Um, Lucas, take care. Thank you, everyone. Um, we've got some more um, stuff coming on the uh, Patreon and Am Squad. Don't worry. And we've got some. I've got. Hopefully, I'm rushing to get another video done for the YouTube channel for in time for Halloween. I can. I can. Uh, and also, I'll be uh, live on Twitch this week as well, Monday to Thursday. Fingers crossed. I hope to catch you all then, and I'll be chatting with you over the, uh, over the weekend in the Discord as well. Exclamation mark Discord. If you want to join in our Discord, there it is. People might be chatting after the stream tonight anyway in there for a little bit. So if you're bored or whatever, chat away in there. Have a lovely weekend, everyone. Thank you so much for everyone's generosity and just having a wicked uh, a fun time in the chat and all that kind of stuff. You've been an awesome community. I love you all. Cheers, guys. Thank you for putting a smile on everyone's faces, including mine. Cheers. Take care, everyone. Good night and have a wonderful weekend. See you all soon. Good night and happy Halloween.